excited. Alrighty, chat. Are you excited for another exciting episode of Rod Grind? Welcome to the new episode of Mills. I love how I like Hello there. Hi, we're here. Hi. For context, the podcast is a giant MILV sign. It says MILVs, MILVs, <laughs> MILVs. at the top. Uh, no, milves. no, no milves. that is not Picturn. Okay, I want you to understand the token that is above MILVs, MILVs, MILVs is not Picturn. That is the token for Billamish Squelch Foot. Okay, well, Picturn. flip them the other way then. No, that is the that is the flipped one. I already I already updated it. I've been on, on the ball. All right, that's, I'm going to kill him then. That's Billamus. Billamus Squelch Foot. All right, and, so uh, he's here to here's fun. here to learn you good about a story. Now that Billamus is here, uh, purveying a whole <laughs> bunch of changes that, that, that has happened. Hi, everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Rock Grind. I am your host and host and uh, resident Chuckle Fuck Zone the Bear. Hope everyone's been having a fantastic time. It's good to see everybody again. Uh, you may have noticed there's something a bit different <laughs> with some other stuff. Uh, I just uh, you'll see the developments that's coming in through you'll you'll be very excited to see I'm gonna go around the horn for everyone to introduce themselves and to talk about uh, their new characters that Everyone gets yeah, we've trashed the old through. campaign, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we all retired peacefully over. to the No spot. one was too attached, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no one yeah. gave a shit about anybody, right? Like yeah. we all got struck by lightning. Yeah. Was that just me? We got rid of your favorite characters and just just trashed them. You know, you it's didn't purely a business decision. I hope you can respect that. Yeah, really, yeah, there's nothing hope, personal. Wow. We didn't care about your feelings. We it's all just about money. Yeah, we took a huge Home Depot sponsorship that paid us uh, quadrillions of dollars. Exactly. <laughs> that's why. That's I'm, why I'm my shield into... is made by Home Depot uh, provided wood. Home, Home I'm Depot. Turning into, I'm turning into Yorm the Giant to tell Chet. This is a joke. Please stop freaking out. <laughs> yeah, if anyone got serious. <laughs> All right. So let's go around the horn and introduce people's uh, little B team characters, starting off with Odoroshi. Hello. I am Odoroshi. I'm going to be playing Tokata, the flesh warp bard. I'm so pleased to make your acquaintance. And next up, we have Hokey Crow's character. Yes, today I will be playing Dudrillier Guilt Grip, the Dwarven Sniper. And I am just pleased as punch to make your acquaintance as well. And next up we have Erendil. Hello, I am Erendil. It is good to be back here, and I am going to be playing as Sir Victrix Corlos. You have met her before if you watched all the episodes. If you haven't, go back and watch them right fucking now, or she's going to stab you with her glaive. Of course, we have a resident speaker of deeds. And behold, for it is I, the King of Moths, here to lead us all on the path to apotheosis, or at the very least, incredibly heinous wealth. <laughs> You're an evocation wizard, right? Yes, an evocation wizard at that. Isn't that special? Yeah. And what I was waiting for it is to go just a tiny bit <laughs> detail on a and the character duties, because I am playing as Sir Bray Barrow. Uh, he is a he is a tyrant champion uh, following the Antarctic faith, and um, he is pre and he has a little guy behind him, uh, as you see, as his squire, which I think uh, will, will let you figure out who he is uh, through through role play and figure out. Around the episode, and he also has his skeletal mount with him. I've done everything <laughs> to make sure I can make a knight skeleton because he is he's an undead skeleton named Sir Bray Barrow, and I'm a very and I'm very excited to play and follow forth the anotic faith. And uh, but of course, the ones who's going to be torturing all these characters, the one who's going to be pitting them with various challenges as. Is Blick turn up there stares at my character ominously <laughs> with his token turn. up top. Uh, <laughs> one who's going to be torturing us all is our resident and amazing game master Thurston Hillman. 
<laughs> Blick turn is just is just pick turn with a gun. <laughs> Glock turn. No, <laughs> no, no Blick turn. Is, is, Blicky. Blick, the speaker is so fond of that term. <laughs> Blicky is a good. It's a good noun. <laughs> Chat, they didn't tell me that they were all coming in with new characters today. They I came just talking showed up. The sun. They just showed up and the overlay was like this. I'm having a fever dream. Help me. Pl- I mean, hi. No, it's, it's exciting. We're going to we're going to learn. We're going to learn a lot today from Bill and Miss Squelchwood as he tells the uh, the tale of the other party that went into the swamp, you know. Yeah, this is not even an episode. It's just a recap episode. It's only he's I'm all gonna, narrated yeah, by him. Yeah, yeah. We we paid for I'm the art because we felt like it. Tear you in half. <laughs> I'm gonna tear you in half like a phone book. <laughs> but Thurston, after everything's now but said and done, what adventure do you have for us today? Well, a long time ago, and by that I mean several several sessions ago. A destined band of chuckle fucks made their way into the swamps of the solitude, where they met a lovely entrepreneur, a, a, a trader of, of interesting goods by the name of Zabble Zap. And when they met Zabble Zap, the uh, mosquito insected creature, uh, that that operated a trading post. They spent some time debating what they were going to do and how they were going to approach their time in the solitude. And so, after some some deliberation, some spending of coins, some discussions, our primary party decided to hire a guide, and then hear some you know interesting side characters with which to. Take the path they weren't choosing. And so, as we begin our session today, we're going to take a look at something a bit different than what we've seen in the past. Well, maybe not maybe not different yet, but um, if you remember our lovely little, little exploration map here, well, we have, we have a new party now. We have a new group of adventurers that are heading out into the swamps of the solitude, investigating news of a destroyed caravan and of the presence of the the, the ominous children of the blaze, all while looking to find the twang folk of, of the deeper solitude. So whilst our party started heading southwest, heading into the region that we, we know to be the Perfectite Cube, The B team takes the stage. Trekking into the swamps of the solitude, the B team is led by their intrepid leader, Sir Victrix. Vic, will you explain to me how you have, uh, how you've led this group into the swamps on your journey to, of exploration? Well, so, speaking as the player and not Victrix at the moment, because it'd be weird for Victrix to address you directly, Thurston, unless you want her threatening you, which she probably could. That's gonna come anyways. I'm wait. I'm 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 expecting it. Fuck you. Anyway, she uh, basically when the A team, as it were, the actual destined band of chuckle fucks, encountered her in there, uh, she got hired by them to go this way for a considerable sum of money. And that sum was used for preparing and collecting all the materials needed to go out on this little trek and also to hire them so that, you know, they wouldn't just ditch her. Because, you know, she's built up a reputation. It's kind of an ornery little shit. And, well, seeing as how she knows the swamps pretty damn well for the most part and can trek from one end to the other on whatever job she needs to do in order to find whatever the hell needs finding or kill whoever the hell needs killing or anything in between those two things that she does really well. She got these people to more or less be backup. Probably, you know, leave it to your imagination unless you want to, like, go into that at some point, but probably would have just found them in the bar, I would presume. You know, yes. Travelers and adventurers go to bars. 
And so they just sort of set out on foot because they needed to set out as early as possible. And they, unlike the A-team, don't have a million pit stops to make. So they're just going straight there. But they are not all on foot. No. Is on. Horse. A horse. Yeah. uh, (laughs) that's, that's, That's the funny part, isn't it? is that you have to be... This is Age of Empires 2, like, infantry formation, where the cavalry has to go as slow as the infantry. Ah, but you must understand, Victor, I always like to ride in luxury. Hurry on, Pippin! And you see Pippin is behind him, or Pippin, rather, is behind him with a kind of, like, Monty Python patsy-like backpack carrying all of his stuff. (laughs) <laughs> like just kind of slogging through the mud behind him and stuff and like hurry on Pepin you will soon become a knight just as I all you have to do is continue to work hard and make your bones not get crumble as old granddad did come along Pepin and then he's uh, continuing on on his skeletal mount and uh is feeling quite chipper about the thing about the entire adventure and um and we'll look over to uh, Victrix and, and be all like, Oh, well, dearest well, dear proprietor of money who has offered us this job, uh, how much exactly are we going to be compensated for this task? Uh, his, <laughs> that's right, Peppin. We do need money to help with the reparations. His bubbly nature is already making her rub her fucking temples in irritation as she walks along. Look, we came to terms that with the 700 that I've got, each of you is going to be getting 150. 150? Uh, you hear that? Uh, yes, that's right, Pepin. I can finally buy you actual shoes. I know your skeleton feet have been rubbing across the aberrations of the very ground, but I promise I will get you shoes very soon. Jesus uh, Christ, he's fucking patsy. Uh. <laughs> Uh, probably be walking along next to the other person who'd be good at wayfinding. I presume that would be, uh, dude. <laughs> What's your character, <laughs> man? <laughs> no, you, he told me Hulky, Hulky expressly said, <laughs> Hulky expressly said that because the first name of his dwarf is so fucking hard to follow that you yeah. can just call him dude. Dude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is one of my many epithets, that is correct. Although I've grown fond of a couple others, like Pest, Creepy Little Man in the Corner, and Stinky. That seems to be a one people often give me bars, but... Yes, if we are looking for the way forward to this caravan, allow me. I think I've got a good grip of these swamps, been through them enough times myself. Let's see what we got. Yeah, you and me both. Come on. Especially you, the, uh... Freako with the harp, you. Me? Yeah, you. Come on. We're getting off. Let's go. Oh, but I would love to take in the scenery. Look at this. It's terrible. (laughs) We're not being paid to do that. I'm not paying you to do that. (sighs) No. Tokata is going to lean her uh, considerable bulk down, looking a little dejected. Oh, my, 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 my anarchic lady. I mean, you, you don't have to trudge through the very mud and muck of here in the swamp. You can sit upon the horse here. here, here I will offer you my uh, skin to mount for you. Pepin, uh, no. Uh, I told uh, you you're not allowed on the horse. You're not, you're uh, not a knight yet. <gasps> that is so kind of you. What's your horse's name? Shit. Chat, what's my horse's <laughs> name? No, there you go. It's his name. It's shit. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean it. It's, it's okay. Shit. I forgot. Chat, what's the horse's name? <laughs> it's not shit. I'm not naming the horse shit. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. no. Zorin, this I is like, like him. I like glue. Yeah, shit. I'll take glue. Zorin, Zorin, glue. wait. That's so wait. Funny. Zorin, may I? You called your dog Nugget. It only makes sense for a, a being of considerable size bigger than him to be shit. No, <laughs> I will never. I'm taking glue. <laughs> please, 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 my anarchic lady. Like, come up, like, come, come up. I'll help you get on top of glue. His name is Glue. Is Absolutely. he made of glue? 
No, his <laughs> skin was flayed off long ago to be used in such a manner, but now he serves as my noble steed. Did you keep it? Yes, Can I do I have see? a bottle. Yeah, yeah, here you all. <laughs> it shows a bottle of glue. Bottle of glue. <laughs> of glue. <laughs> glue. Glue. The glue of glue. Wow. Glue from glue. I will ride upon glue. Thank you. Of course. Pepe. I rhymed. Stairs. Uh, and Pe- uh, oh, don't complain. Uh, you love this. Uh, and Pepin will come over and he will just, just go on all fours and, and to become a step. Stool form. Uh, he Yay. bends over. And yeah, Tokata will uh, just kind of jump up onto the horse, uh, walking a, a little bit like she's floating, just a little, with all the, the robes and such. And, uh, and, and Bray, and, and Sir Bray Barrow will help Tokata up on top, and um, and he'll like pull Pepin up out of the bucket stuff and kind of like, like wash him off. He'll be like, excellent job, Pepin. So... Uh. Do the ladies get to ride on the horse? Is Miss Victrix going to ride upon glue? I am not putting my ass on that bony piece of shit. I mean, the saddle is nice and comfortable, but don't worry, my fair and arctic lady. It's like, we just need to make sure that everyone can get through there safe and sound. Pepin! The horn! Or the trumpet, rather. Yep, begin to play, but hey! (laughs) Victrix will grab the fucking trumpet out of his hand immediately. <laughs> what do you bring? That is the march of my army. Ooh, this ain't if your you'd army, like background pal. music, I would very much like to oblige. Vic's going to just turn around and shove the trumpet into the hands of the King of Moths. <laughs> All <No>. this. <laughs> Ooh. Now, what am I to do with this bobble, my most fattiest of fatbergs? What? That's not a nice thing to call people. What the fuck did you just call me? Well, it's just your resemblance to the noble globster. It's simply, it's impossible to ignore. But I understand you are not used to being complimented. <laughs> I wouldn't either had I shared your appearance or charisma. But... Nevertheless, I lay it at your feet. Oh. You know, I had a premonition about this encounter of ours. I had a dream, you see. One of sparkling gray slabs of dragons and rot deep in the undercurrent of the swamp of the world. And I realized something. My fine female fealty holder. I realized that none of this will have anything to do with us. And thus, our future is a clean slate. Wow. Have you ever had one of those dreams where all your teeth fall out? (laughs) Yes, it happened shortly before all my teeth fell out. That's when I learned to always trust my dreams and also everything that I ever tell you. Wow. Oh, yes. That's amazing. It is. It is. <laughs> I am amazing. <laughs> Victrix is fucking glaring at you. <laughs> she is She is mad, and she is going to just raise up a hand. Okay. I'm going to give you an ultimatum right now. You can either forego the money that you are being promised, or you are going to let me punch you in the stomach. That is such an interesting ultimatum. But if I choose the first, of course, if you don't survive our encounter, well, perhaps I'll get your share. But the swamps are such a dangerous place! The church is Let's... going to punch him in the stomach now! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a tail, girl. The girls do it with the right thing! Before PvP, y'all. I'm not PvP. Even PvP. Open. Oh. PvP. Why is it every that time for the beautiful. years we've done this, when it's PvP, it's you two? <laughs> I put I, I loop my arm around Speaker's shoulder and we stand there and stare at you, Zorn, and we say, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, also punching him in the stomach with the other arm. No, no, no. Out, in, outside of the outside of the funnies, we we will be just good friends. I will, however, punch his character in the stomach. Of course, of course. Presidential <laughs> alert: the girls are fighting. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> That's right, Pepin. Watch carefully Fair as enough. they kill each other. Well, my fine compere. It seems as and, if I am able is... to dodge to the side and quickly wrap a strange hand around your own shoulder. No, you better not miss this time, or else I'll have to seriously start considering your leadership. <laughs> she took some, she Everyone give me a perception that. check. Please, okay. we're, we're, we're moving. Oh yeah, on. I guess we're playing a game. Everyone perception, you said? Everyone. Hey, 34. Oh, 31. I got, a thir I got a 20 because her fucking perception is terrible. So she Brave has no Mero wisdom. got a 22. 21. 21. Hey, guys, hey guys, how's it feel having a perception or a wisdom score of plus two compared to Vix of plus zero? <laughs> Feels pretty good. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. Takata. Yes. You both see something as you are traveling through the muck of the swamp. You come across a rock and on that rock, something is engraved, a symbol that stares out towards the cloudy sky. What is the symbol? It, uh, oh, I see. It appears to be some sort of strange crawdatomous shaped entity with clickers and clackers. Oh. May his external carapace, may his pincers be his name. True. I need Would all of you this? to uh, give me. Oh God, I need some kind of check to see if you believe in Crodatimus. Um Why? Why are a you will doing save. this? <laughs> yeah, will save. Will I need save. all of you to give me a will save. You're oh, a piece of shit. I want to fail. <laughs> <laughs> Thurston enforcing a character flaw on me. Damn right. <laughs> bullying, bullying poor Victrix. I got an eighteen. Oh my God! Please, 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 18. please. Sir Bray Merrill got a 30. So my my thought was, was whoever rolled the lowest, right, would, uh -huh. would, would, would. <laughs> so it's going to be a roll people. off then. So there's it's going to be a roll people. off then. Yeah. <laughs> I grip you by the throat. It's going to be a, it's going to be a roll off then. Yeah. Okay, fine. Don't put a roll off. <laughs> don't please don't. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Making me believe the fucking crawdad god. I mean, DC listen, I, value, I'll go two for you. two on crawdad of this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. All right. Thurston. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, that was Why just was Volley. That volley? <laughs> yeah, so in the bottom right in Foundry, you might want to <laughs> right-click your name and uh, oh, select yeah, your, off of volley. your, yeah, your yeah, different yeah. character. It's weird because you were rolling as Takata for a minute there. Uh, I was. So there was a four and uh, Erndo rolled an 11 because uh, it was I a flat switch. roll. So Volley. Oh, my bad, sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Volley, Volley believes in Crawdad. <laughs> Volley <laughs> believes so much. Um, no, Odo, you, um, you, you most definitely Takata believes in the strange legend that is Crawdadimus, oh, spirit of the swamps. This is this is the Crawdadimus. Has anybody got a coin to leave for him? Oh, oh, of course, I, I'll carry a couple ones in my pack here. Yeah? Wonderful. And Doodle reach into his knapsack and <laughs> pull out a, a piece of silver. Thank you very kindly, dude. We must ensure that we do not invoke his ire. You are a hundred percent collect c correct. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit displaced here. You are you are absolutely right. We would not want to anger this god, especially given that it is not yet burst forth into the firmament yet. Please, cry out his long be his claws be. May he sever the firmament of this world. I would Praise advise all of you to leave an offering to this god. Trust me, it will pay dividends in the future for all of you. Praise be to his carapace. I lay down a silver piece. <laughs> that is what they say I have to do. Yes, yes, this is exactly what happened in my dream, you see. And I'm going to uh, quickly walk over to where the silver was laid and then just, uh, uh, while distracting people, just pick up the coin that was just laid and put it back down. <laughs> I too have left a tribute, but look! Already your tribute has been accepted by Crotatimas! Surely 
Our undertaking is blessed by that most delightful of divine mud bugs. <laughs> and you're, you're trying are you trying to trick a god that doesn't exist? <laughs> <laughs> Ray will come up and just snag his trumpet back from the king of moths and then put ah. it in there. And he's like, like we will, we will grant, we will grant his holy carapace that of the, that of the gift of music. That and the trumpet's very expensive. Uh, what a wonderful idea. Everybody Pepin, loves music. Pepin, I understand this is part of your family heirlooms and it's something that you hold very dear, but we did make sure we survived this swamp. Uh, You'll oh. deal with it. Come on, Pepin! Uh, up, up, up. He continues marching. There, there. <laughs> All right. Um, your, your band carries on into the swamp. Um... <laughs> for for the following day this continues um all of you who have who have, have traveled um you feel yourselves you know th th getting a bit worn down by the day even your old creaking skeletal bones can everyone give me a fortitude save but can dude and takata give themselves a plus two circumstance bonus Yay. Yeah. Come on, fucking thing. I've got the most points in. Go. 21. I have a thing here, Thurston. This mm -hmm. is a circumstance spell to sell my little window thing of basic undead benefits. Can I have an Matt undead benefit Christ. of my plus one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that dude's okay. 29. Jesus Christ! I celebrate the world a natural 20! Yay! Thank you. So I think all of you except the King of Moths, who's starting to get like a bit winded from this journey, are keeping up this brisk <laughs> pace. That's what he that's what he fucking gets for not paying tribute to a god that has not yet finished being born. <laughs> True. Nobody got, on, nobody got on Vic's case about it, and that's just fine. Vic didn't steal the tribute! So 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 Mods. Uh, yeah, yes, my uh, my uh, Oseus companion. Your flesh seems to be windy. Are you fine? Oh, I, I'm I'm fine, as you can see. I'm oh. just soaking in the swamp. Would you like any assistance, uh, King of Moths? I can provide you with a mount if needed. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Nonsense, Venus. King of Moths. I can assist you on your way. A king should not have to walk on this very ground. Heaven? How do people live like this? <laughs> Vic is going to lean on her pole and just like stick her hind end on her, just lean towards the King of Moths like, what's the matter? Don't got any lung space under all that big brain ears? You're lucky I'm completely without shame or else I might be somewhat embarrassed right now. Oh God, it smells like apricots. Speaker, balancing your audio is a right. fucking nightmare. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Every time you speak, it's either you're under 25 decibels or you're over plus 25 decibels. I do it all for you, baby. I do it all for you. <laughs> it's all for you, little Damien. I get a little closer to the mic. Uh -oh. <laughs> you're fine. I understand what the whole um, the problem is. It's just swamp air. Yeah, actually, you've never breathed it before. Yeah, come on. What's the deal? Or I'm just used to the clean running sewers of outset is all. I tell you, nature does not agree with me. Any place without a nice urban square for which you can rile within the undercity, why, that's barely a place for me. City that's square. true, and there's not much creature comforts out here, but, well, what else would a creature need but the comfort of the natural world? <laughs> oh. Are we stopping for a rest? Oh, rest up here, I can keep going for hours! For hours! Uh, as you can see. Good. You sure? You seem to be leaving a bit of yourself behind there. A couple different places, too. <laughs> oh, my dwarven companion. Why all this talk about me? Let's talk about you and your strange metal arm. Let's talk about getting back on the road and stop wasting our time with Mr. Winded over here. Sir King of Mars, if I can come with a suggestion... Oh, yes. 
And now to ride it, rideth upon Pepin's back. He can carry you the rest of the way. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, Could I really impose? I mean, uh, I'm grabs, not that. I'm not that ill. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs the King of Boss nearly effortlessly because he's like a buff skeleton, and uh, and he goes and he was working with Pepin as you were dying, and uh, basically adjusted his pack to be like an impromptu seat, and so he puts you if if, if you allow me just. With oh, your course, character, of course. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. just goes, like, puts you in there, like it's a, it's a seat, and go like, now hold still. I have to bind you so you don't run away. And he starts wrapping you with a bunch of rope, oh, <laughs> like yeah. onto the bindings and stuff. And he looks God. over the Pepin and is like, uh, very good job, Pepin. You're becoming a fine squire day by day. Soon you will be a knight after all of these burdens. I, Sir Bray, I can't help but thank you. I uh, this is entirely unnecessary. I am ever so grateful. And then I just look at Gilt Glurip and I just go, works every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that both Takata and the King of Mods are now on the horse. Everyone's going to be on the horse. Yeah, everyone. That right. was exactly my thought. Too. I want to make, I want to make a narr- no, no, he's not on the horse. He's on Pepin's back. Yeah, I'm on Pepin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pepin he's being carried the by the squire. Right. And Good. I want to make a narrative declaration. Oh, boy. I like a narrative declaration. I want well, I want Pepin, like the, the, the ride on Pepin, to be so uncomfortable it makes him more sick. Oh, God. Oh, no. And now that he's bound. <laughs> You're giving you him exhaustion. No! <laughs> We're all friends here, everybody. We're it's all like, friends. It's super rocky. Pepin's constantly having to adjust the pack for the uh. added weight. You know, Pepin's just having to lean left and right. He stumbles a bunch. He falls uh. in the side. And <laughs> everything's uh. bad. ZTP uh. cruelty. Uh, all right, you know what? After about an hour of this, uh, I'm going to make a thievery check to try to just untie my binds. <laughs> Does 17 do it? No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my god. <laughs> watch as the King of Mars is just slowly cutting through it and then he just drops one of his files in the dirt and now his like wrist is like even more fucking caught up. And, he's and it was a really and nice file and he looks back and right, picks it up. Look like, friends, uh, I found a file. Head. I found a file. I, Somebody must be camping nearby. <laughs> Oh, Nick's going to steal it from him. <laughs> that, must, that must be it. You, you must, you must give it to me so I can make sure that it, it uh, where it came from. Because uh, I am a child. Victrix is going to walk Shut right up. up to the King of Mars with the with the file that she has now snatched from Bray's hand. She's going to dangle it like this. This is yours. It fell out of your pocket. Oh yes, yes, yes. That now I see it more closely. I recognize it as mine. She's going to like gingerly stuff it into his mouth. <laughs> you will. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There you go. It's all yours. Take. You it. will die in three months. You will die right now if we don't keep a move on. Mm, we'll just have to see which prophecy comes true now, won't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's come on. And we'll we'll carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done shit posting. I'm sorry, speaker. It was, it was a bit. I lean down like, to Sir Bray. I think they are going to be very good friends. Oh, the bestest of buddies I find, my my an Arctic mistress. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh well, that that definitely uh That was a lot. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this journey through the swamp <laughs> continues. Um, you seem all very eager to continue pressing on, so so let's let's press on, shall we? Let us. Oh oh oh! Hang on, I want to preempt something. Chat, don't say poor Vic. Please do not <laughs> say poor Vic. She She's sucks. earned this. She yeah. sucks. Okay, just keep that in mind. All right, you carry on for some way. Um. Dare I ask who who is doing like the checking for tracks and survival here? <sighs> Let me Peppin. check mine. Peppin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is he doing it but in a penalty because he is a funny man? I don't want to volunteer on Hulky, but I think Hulky's no. Dude, dude will absolutely good. be checking to see if we're going the right way and trying to track our quarry. Uh, yeah. Survival. Peppin will help. He will aid. Uh, 
Ooh, stingy 15. 15. Ooh. Uh, oh. Okay, so th- here's a here's a great question. Who has survival? Because I was the one thing I didn't get on Vic. Not I. Yeah, not me. I. Wait. Wait, wait. Did none of you... us take survival? No, Pippin nice. has highest survival out of all of yes. us. Like, yes. Like, that's yes. Wait, the joke, what the Zorin. fuck's my survival? <laughs> yeah, my survival is yes. two. Who, what's everyone's survival? Two. two. This is Pepin, this is the... lead the fucking way, man. <laughs> this, this is the this is the party that our main party hired to go tracking in the swamp. I think it says more about our main party than it does Correct. about this one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hostility. Poor poor Pepin. Blah. Wet. Yeah, that's Pepin's Wet. default state. It's wet. <laughs> and and yet Pepin. Okay, I, I should should clarify, and this is probably a stupid question for me to ask, but let me ask it anyways. Is Pepin doing the survival tracking with the King of Mods still strapped to him? Oh no. Uh, I'll say I'll say um, just so Speaker can actually play his character, and I can stop being a. <laughs> Piece of shit. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure Speaker got off, or if he wants to, he got out of the rope. He has slipped out of the ropes. Of course, it's the other, more expensive file that I used. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to, I didn't want to disable his characters. My bad. Nah, you no, didn't you're disable him. It's fine. We're very living. It's funny. It's funny. All exists for it's the very bit. funny. It's a bit. A bit. A bit. Call her the okay. bit. The way I'm committed to her. Yeah. So I don't know All if right. anyone wants to. I don't know if we're doing other exploration actions. Travel through because if so, um, Sir Bray will at least be just keeping an eye on things like just perception and just keep an eye for any dangers. I have to look up what the fuck we can actually do. Yeah, I've, um, forgotten, I've forgotten the table for what it was that we can do while exploring. I, I can, I can, I gotta bring up my character sheets. Don't look, don't look, don't, don't look. look, don't look. I gotta don't pop out it. all these character sheets. Don't look. If you look, you die, it explodes you. True. Here, I'll pop that. Oh, there you go. Um, for those who needed it. Um, yes. So if any of you have certain individual actions you would want to be doing. So in this case, we, we certainly have Pepin who is tracking. I think that would be technically mine because he's my companion. Oh, yeah, I guess. I I'll guess. Be, yeah, yeah. So I'll be tracking technically. Pepin. Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's see. What can I do here? I could repeat a spell to inspire courage, but none of us are attacking anyone, except Victrix and the King of Moths, of course. Yeah, it always gives us a plus one on things in case we need it. Uh, or I have Inspire Defense. That uh, that gives it to saving throws, just in case we need it for uh, we'll save has fortitude some saves actually, or whatever. Vic has actually some good stealth, so I could do Avoid Notice. Yeah, I will be repeating a spell, and I'll be doing Inspire Defense. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, and then, um, let me just double check here. Oh, um, his Inspire, yeah, it's a cantrip, so yeah, you can, yeah, yeah cool. Um, and then, um, Vic is going to be uh, avoiding notice. Uh, is the dude also avoiding notice? Uh, the dude will be searching. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You will kill all right. Um, and what about our king and mods? Ah, yes, I suppose I should help. Um, I believe I will be detecting magic. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Uh, can I get a perception check from the dude then? Yes, you can. I will abide. Abiding. 27. Cool. Nice. Um, so between you and Pepin, um, you eventually find your way into a slightly forested area um, that that has a bit of a winding path. Um, the, the path seems to go off uh, by a by a nearby like not quite a ditch, but like a like a dug section of ground here. Uh, but one thing that you all notice as you approach, uh, and the dude is the one to pick up on this, is there's like floating embers in the air. And like there's not really a noticeable smell of smoke just because everything kind of has that damp swamp 
air to it. But you you do notice little flickering orange embers on the air as you are uh, as you're approaching this area. And Pepin sort of points out uh, an area a bit further ahead where it looks as though there are um, it looks as though there's like a, a set of trees off from this this path um, and kind of mumbles a uh, 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 and points towards it. What's that, Pepin? Uh, uh, uh. You mean things are on fire up ahead? Uh, things are burning at a rapid rate. Uh, is it a no? forest fire or is it someone causing fire? Left, left, your left hand, if it just looks like a forest fire. Your right hand, if it looks like someone's burning things. Like, shakes both hands. Like, no, none of that. Fucking Pepin. All right. <laughs> keeps going. He just keeps walking. All right, excellent. All um, right, come on. We got to investigate that at least. It's our goal on the way to where we're going. Yeah. Um. So as as you approach, um, you can see uh, and and. Dude, this will be you as well. Uh, there's a few things. First of all, the King of Moths, you start to detect some magic in the air. It seems like they're... Actually, give me um, an Arcana check, please. Mm, very well. Yes, Arcane. 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 Re-roll. Ah, 20. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. That's enough for... With a three on the dice, I'm sorry. That's enough for you to tell that there is, like little motes of conjuration around, but that's about it. Ah, something is being conjured in the swamps around us. Mm, I can't quite detect exactly what. Mm. Could you try harder? Mm, let me try <laughs> harder now! I'm just counts out, could you do a better job? You are not <laughs> helping us keep quiet. Can I can I can I try again? No, you get one shot at it. You don't get to just sit there being like. I try. I try, speaker. <laughs> I try to keep you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, none of that. I'm, I'm afraid that there's some powerful force blocking my magics, stopping me from scrying yet again. It we is your own self. Why don't you shut the hell up? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just bits are coming in my head and it's just coming off as a dick. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's, it's just funny. so it's funny. funny. It's so Zoran, funny. why are you apologizing? Vic's supposed to be worse. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right. So it's as okay. as you you continue fucking heading towards this with, with, with Pepin sort of like pointing from behind your steed, um... You, you reach the clearing where there's, there's embers clearly dancing in the air everywhere. Oh, yeah, I need to do the... Hang on. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Oh. That one. Oh, good. Oh, no. That was a 14. Good. Oh. That's a complication, if ever yes. I've seen one. Heaven, yeah, play some... the complication song! And you like beatboxes. <laughs> That's the weirdest beatbox I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, like that. Good job, Peppa. <laughs> uh, oh okay um uh, i like this one we're gonna use this one from uh Desirio, which is yes but actually no <laughs> so uh, uh the character second guesses themselves uh looking like they don't know what they're doing um so your next roll that you make your next check you make if it's a success you have to re-roll it because okay. you need to show you can do even better. Gotcha. Okay. As as you are you were going through this Vic and like like stamping on like twigs and just like cracking of like wood pieces. But as as you're approaching, you now see up ahead is the, the destroyed remnants of a caravan. Um, there are trees around here, and you all sort of approach this area. I'm gonna actually move us onto a map here. Uh, Vix, by the way, is not like cringing whenever she makes a loud noise. She's just owning it and trying to look like a girl boss. It's fine. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, you should all have vision on this, so. Bottom left. Yeah, you, yeah bottom Pretty left. Much. Let me know if this you is. don't have vision. Okay, perfect. Haunts. 
Um, so what you can see is there are like small brush fires here and then embers in the air. There are carts that appear to be turned over, tossed and broken. The remnants of a camp here that looks like it's been it's been ransacked in, in some ways with goods and equipment spilled all about. What would you like to do? Mm -hmm. I mean, fuck, Vic's going to take take point. She's going to go right ahead. Yeah, absolutely. She doesn't give a shit if she blunders into a trap at this point. She wants to kill someone. I don't suppose they left anything too valuable behind. Well, That's whatever. what we'll find out. Keep on your right. toes. This certainly is a natural brush fire this deep in the solitude. Bray would look at the King of Mars mentioning even looting anything and go, oh, you would go, you would, you would go to any sort of disheveled belongings of the long dead and the Pilot? Of course not, Sir Knight. I was merely thinking in anticipation of additional thieves. Why not? Vic they is, don't Vic need is already it. Looting. We should be looting all of this. My thoughts exactly, Sir Knight. High five! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, 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 Zorin, what, yeah. what, what, yeah. what is, uh, what is Bray's alignment? I, I I didn't set a lot because I I didn't bring it. Um, Alignment's dumb, you know. Wow, I mean, that's I, fail. I think if I had if I had to put something because of religion rules and say it would be neutral evil. That's oh, very shit. funny. Oh my god! Wow. Same alignment as Vic. That is actually hilarious. I also appreciate though. Can I just say I just opened your character sheet and I love that it's a hundred and age one hundred and fifty seven, six foot two, weighs seventeen pounds. <laughs> no, he, the skeleton. Okay, I looked this shit up. All right, the skeleton okay. weighs yes. very little, but with all the plate armor and stuff, he he's like normal. <laughs> you know, your the weight, armor really your big. weight is what your character is nude. Yes. Yeah. So Vic's a skeleton. Pounds. Yeah, Excellent. I was just saying it's amusing. <laughs> he is a so, skeleton of of a, of a modest seventeen pounds. Vic is a fucking tall asshole of, of around two hundred. The king of moths is like five. The king of moths <laughs> is a uh, six foot five and one hundred and twenty two pounds. Jesus Christ! Very nice. He is an Hollow emaciated bones. weird fellow. No wonder he got sick Please from walking. <laughs> 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 Well, did he get sick or did he just want to ride on the horsey? God only knows. Oh, no. so Bray will order Pepin to, to follow close on the next day. Close, Pepin. If any spookies come up, remember, we give them the old London special and we stab them. Where is London? London? Yeah. What the hell is a London? Follow I'm my bit, God London damn it. Now. And he continues. I'm going to have to write London into existence now. Thanks, Zora. <laughs> <laughs> this world has become like, infinitely worse because of the existence of London. Good if job. If you sign up for what? our Patreon, you will get all the lore about London. <laughs> <laughs> well, buy the London DLC. <laughs> and, and it's new. But London. we have Jesus. Right. It's a new ex expanded. Where do we get Jesus? We no, have. We're going where, to did we get, where did we get the risen son of of God? <laughs> we're going oh. to blood grind. The He's entire continent. The entire continent of Tyne is like a small island nation somewhere off of the coast <laughs> of Malta. <laughs> Thurston, what do I lose? Give me a perception check, please. Thank you. She she loots she loots uh, <laughs> with <spooks>. a <laughs> twenty three, a twenty three. Um, okay, so so you come up to the the first caravan that seems to be sort of knocked over. There's um, two wooden boxes on their sides in there, um, which are like clearly of like clearly there and the like the locks have been broken off. Um, and when you open them up, uh, you can see that they're filled with gold coins. <sighs> Uh, she is going to quietly close the lid and just push the box off. Uh, real quick, is there any way she could theoretically spirit away this container quietly? Uh, yeah, you could give me a, a stealth check to, like, kind of hide that a little bit. Or, th yeah, yeah, stealth, I think. Hide it on her person? Yeah, or is it too big yeah, for that? Um... I mean, you might not be able to hide the box, but you might be able to, you know, do a little discreet. Let's uh, shift some of the coins away. Actually, a uh, thievery would be better here if you've got it. Mm, can I do a? Can I do stealth at a penalty? Yes, I'll give you stealth at a minus 
minus, minus it to be two. exactly like a Steve Ray. <laughs> yeah, it'll be minus nine. Um, yeah, no, no. You didn't I'll, have I'll to follow you... my suggestion. <laughs> yeah, minus well, nine. Well, if you didn't want him to follow it, you shouldn't have said it. I just wanted, just thought it was funny. I'm sorry. I'm... Minus what? <laughs> Fuck you. Roll the th roll the steel from the party check. Funny, haha, ha, Arndell. My at minus what? Uh, at minus two for the stealth. You're you're. Okay. It's more at this point about you kind of like trying to stay unnoticed while your your part your party mates bicker a bit and you're like do 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 money. Father um, eighteen. Can okay, I so, um? What, I'm, what I'm would brain notice? Just, I'm going to say that if any of you have, oh gosh, like if any of you have a, honestly, no, no, that that isn't enough. Like just passive, passive perception from everyone's just gonna kind of. In fact, as you're doing this, Victrix, there's like the sound of kachunk, and like the 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 carriage kind of like falls a bit into the mud and you hear the jangle of coins the box that you weren't grabbing the second one falls down all of you hear the clatter and see gold coins spill out the side all right so the moment i see this i'm going to cast a uh, tentacular limbs <laughs> and i'm going to have my hand shoot out into a strange tentacle wrap around the lids of these cases and then just drag them into the middle all right <laughs> So just bro, Victor is going to turn around and save face and say, "Nice catch, Mothman." Oh, you're very welcome. I'll be keeping track of our golden spoils. Uh, call me the official treasurer if you don't. Yeah, lie. keep track of this one too. She'll toss the box that she is holding directly in, in front of him, not at him. She's not going to do that just yet. Right, let's see, one, two, skip a few, 99, 100. Da, 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 da. And I'll be going through all the gold coins greedily. Yeah, there are 487 gold coins in here. Mm. And I will, uh, well, we don't have the people's, this is the opposite of the people's loot. Uh, <laughs> I, I this is pretty ANCAP, I'm not gonna yeah, lie. We're, so we're I, kinda, I kinda proposed a name for this group in, in the rot grind discussion as the rot yeah. bastards. <laughs> the rot bastards. Rot, rot fucks. <laughs> so can we can we have the bastards loot? <laughs> the bastards. I like that. I'm on it. I like the rot bastards. Bray will look to um, look down to the king of boss and he will be like, you know, I very much expect for me to get paid after this adventure. And his like helmet kind of turns and his eyes will kind of get like that kind of like that red glow in the middle of them. And a black background behind <laughs> you. Yeah. And he and, and the horse stops and it just he just kind of looks like a like a like a Nazgul kind of like silhouette type of thing. And and he goes like, and I very much hope nothing's going to happen to the gold. Sir Bray, I am a criminal, not a moron. Of course, I split uh, the spoils evenly between my compares. Good. Then I very much hope that they will be in my pocket soon. And then he'll just trot along. They will, my friend. Oh, yes, there's an ambush. We should keep our voices down. <laughs> We've already fucked up. <laughs> we are, that ship people is sailed, are really dude. bad at staying quiet out here. Oh, um, we're knows supposed to be staying quiet. I mean, I assume there's a, you know? a fucking caravan that got knocked off the side of the road and looted, oh. burned, and probably everybody dead. We probably should be keeping our voices down, but it doesn't look like we're going to be doing that today. Well, I'll be quite honest, friends. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep since this dreadful anarchic rituals. So I may be a little cross-wired while we're adventuring in these swamps. I hope you don't mind. That's fine. Bring him on over to me. I'm looking forward to getting my glaive wet. I don't. Well, it takes all kinds to make a world, doesn't it? I must remind you all that I noticed conjuration magics. The people behind this little soiree may not be too far. In fact, Thurston, would you allow me to do another arcane check? I will now. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so kind. I just, I I'm love pretty. That. I'm pretty cool, you know. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. We all love Thurston, yeah. right, guys? We love yeah. Thurston. Yeah. He's a great yeah. game master. Yeah. He yeah. cares for us. He busts his ass it, off for us. He's not a hostile no. DM at all, and that's yeah, why he cares about our characters and their progression. Yeah, 
okay, so, 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 you know, King of Mods, he rolled a 33. That's pretty cool. You know, I, I, I also just moved his token up a little bit as he's looking around, getting, getting the arcane energy. Totally not a hostile move on my part. You know, he's looking around. He's, you know, kind of, kind of seeing the, the broader picture of the magics here. Uh, I've also applied the fatigued condition to him just because he reminded me to do that. Again, not hostile at all. Um, and then. That's a generous um, game master. He's yeah. so cool, you know. Um, and with all of that, uh, as you begin looking around, you see the crackling um, energy in the air, the embers here. And as you start to focus around and then sort of look through your your detecting magic sight and sort of peering into the woods here, you can see up to the north there is this, like, ditch in the ground. Um, you can see that there's, like, the camp sort of around you. You haven't gone through all the goods yet, but as you're as you're looking... You see small little flames that dance and seem to take on form. And as though, like, prompted by the shouting from earlier, that absolutely was not the King of Moth's fault. Let's let's be clear. Can we here. please be clear about that, everyone? Yeah, very yeah, clear. It's my fault. Not, I'll take the blame. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but something is taking shape inside of the the. the like the, the woods and around you. There's about four of these beings that seem to be like crackling into existence. Um, and you see them. And they appear to be like entities of fire, but they're composed of burning matter from like the swamp and the destroyed caravan. They have like a, a, a wide sort of like mouth almost with a single eye and two tiny little pseudopod like arms that are made entirely of lashing flame. There's some art for everybody. Ooh. Look at him. He's a little guy. Like, oh, that's my friend. I'm, so cute. I'm going to destroy him. Destroy him, yeah. kill him. Yeah. And um, so you see all of this King of Maws because, you know, you, you see it. Uh, in fact, you're so amazingly in inspired by seeing this, my king. I'm actually going to let you use that 33 for your initiative here. Ah. Yay. Such, such Yay. much generosity. I'm also going to allow Vic and um, Vic and the dude to use stealth because they have been, you know, fair, fairly attempting, even though Vic had previously fumbled a bit of a stealth. This is sort of like they're, they're still being generally quiet. Um, but I'm going to get perception for initiative as these uh, these flame entities take form and seem to uh, seem to be jittering towards you. Give me a moment. I'm looking at something. Sir Bremo rolled oh, a 14 fuck. on his uh, initiative. Tocata rolled with an 18 initiative. Oof. Believe Tocata it or not, rolled Thurston, a 30. Believe it or not, Thurston, I'm actually going to just do a regular ass initiative because I can use Battlefield Surveyor to improve it. So. Mm. Fair enough. I'll give you a 30. Very awesome. nice. Very good. Okay. Uh, so then, um, the king. My king, you see these four entities. Two of them are sort of in the woods by you uh, to your east, and then two more have sort of formed one at the opposite end of that ditch, um, the other one closer to you. Uh, and they, they, you, you hear them as they form, and they kind of like, <laughs> but they're like giggling with like cra the sounds of crackling flames behind them. Well, normally I would be enchanted. Then I looked at my spells list and I realized I have fireball prepped four times. <laughs> well, <laughs> fireball. Uh, I get X to X, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, man. That's okay. Uh, I should have known that. I, I put a hand on your shoulder and going, I feel you, wizard. <laughs> <laughs> wizard moment. Wizard, Wizard moments. moments. Spy moment. Spy I moment. Got, I have four really good fireballs. Right. It's probably good. It'll do me. All right. Uh, I'm going to just kind of look around. I'm going to notice. Oh, I should mention this. We are surrounded by flame elementals. Elsa Vitrix, friends. Protect your wizard. And I am going to move to the back. And I am going to cast a spout. Um, 
And so I'm going to place my five foot burst. I'll place it here. Actually, I don't want him to zoom at me. I'll place it here. Okay. And I believe this little man will have to make me a DC 25 reflex check. Sure will. Okay, one sec. Watch out. Oh, I will succeed it, but just. All right, so you take half damage, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, yeah, it's a basic, so yeah. Okay. How, How does your spell go? Is it just like a... No, it's like uh, very suddenly, like the ground around the spirit begins to shimmer and fade before briefly turning into a... <gasps> like a huge geyser that then sinks right back into a rippling ground, returning into normal. I'm glad nice. you can waterboard at will. I can waterboard you at will. That that will mess it up as the like as the spout hits it and it sort of like recoils back. It's cackling, stoffing briefly. Thurston, since that's a yes. water attack, could I convince you to do more damage? Uh, no, you can't because these are things that are made up of the swampy matter and fire. So they mm. do have water kind of in them already. Wait, which one were you targeting? You were targeting that one up there? Yes. Okay. Because I don't want the closer one to see this and run right at me. Yes. Gotcha. Who is next? All right. That's it for you, Spear. Mm-hmm. I suppose I can click begin encounter. Uh, I love that we're right. all called these here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Erndil B teamer. Because look, I when I had to set some of this stuff up, I didn't you I hadn't even finished your character. So I think the tokens just did that. That's fine. <laughs> All right, uh, Vic is going to see the one closest to us, and not because she wants to be the tank, but mostly just because she likes violence. Uh, she is going to sudden charge. <gasps> okay. At this guy it's here. It's a fighter, Billy. It's a fighter. You're a fighter. Dude, that means you can move, a... up, you move twice and then strike. Yes. So I do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I stride twice. Oh, I have to... Cannot drag myself, irritatingly. Oh well. You're probably... Sudden charge right up to him. Yep. I end within melee range of him outside of that, so I can make an attack. Oh no. Okay, and she literally just, like, tucks her glaive under her arm and sprints directly at him before raising up the glaive and bringing it down. <laughs> at a net 20 yeah! on the target. Okay, that that'll that'll crit with this deadly and all sorts of other bananas. deadly D8 evocation forceful magical reach. I'll roll the yep. critical damage. Oh, that's a oh, good that's roll. Oh, that's such a huge bit of damage, Jesus oh. Christ! Oh. oh my God! Okay, okay. So I actually have a question for you. Uh, yeah, you have reach, right? Correct. So did you want to charge right up to it? Uh, yes, because I have a plan. Okay, because with you now with your crit specialization, you can move it five feet in a direction of your choice. Correct. Um, now, you're also a fighter. So the reason I asked about the reach is because if you stay at reach and then push it back, if it tries to engage with you, you get an attack of opportunity. <laughs> okay, sure, we'll uh, do that. I'll move uh, one back. I mean, it puts me at stride two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so pretty fun. cool. I was, um, I was about to say, you can't shove it out into attack of opportunity, but if it and if it goes back in into the threatened space, it wouldn't trigger it. But, but now, that, but that's what I mean, because yeah. it's at reach, right? Yeah, Fine enough. Like push Fine back. Enough. So yeah, you push it, it back that fighter. way. <laughs> anyway, Ooh. 44 with the uh, big damage on bleed. Okay, uh, well, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna click this and I think it'll work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yikes. All right, that's uh, that's a good amount of damage. That and is I a... still have an attack left. I still have an action left. And I think I also have to apply the persistent bleed, which is not... She, she like, literally just comes up, oh, it's lifts up that's the why. spear, uh -huh. slams it down, and then twists it's it a fine. bit before lifting up the thing still attached to the glaive and then slamming it back down on the ground. Probably, I would say, yeah, one hex away. Well, hex. Not, not not in that direction. Oh, okay. Yeah. One hex away. 
You heft that thing hundreds of feet. We're playing Starship Combat or Battletech. Oh god. Pew. Okay, no, because I don't want him. I don't want him out of reach. Because now I'm going to exacting strike him. Oh, do you want? Okay, so so then you just wouldn't push him. Okay. No, I could. Can I move him there? Is that still in range? Um, for ten feet? Yeah, there. Or, or maybe up there, so I'm further away from on the, the on the yeah on the box. That's fine. Yeah. So she'll slam him down on the box, and the box will splinter and turn into a bunch <laughs> of embers. She doesn't care about these cute noises. She's gonna exacting strike it. Uh, make a controlled attack, make a strike, and Does I'm just gonna flourish? do it because it's a follow up. Uh, do I have? I don't have enough AP to do any flourishes. Yeah, All my well, flourishes are. Yeah, it's uncharged. Probably has a flourish trait, so just make sure. Further. Good. Uh, sudden, yeah, char sudden charge does have a flourish, but yeah, so yeah, none of my other a... strike does not. And has okay, you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Yeah. Okay, and actually, I am going. I'm actually you... going to instead of doing exacting strike, I'm going to do dragging strike. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to pull him further away, ideally. So I'm just going to make a map minus five. Uh, you have to move it towards you, though. Do I? Yeah. Target move. Pull them closer. Okay, in that case, I'll just hit it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just going to whack it. There's no point in getting fancy. It's just a little guy. I'll just, little guy. I'll just whack him. Yeah, whack See it. if I can whack him. Whack. That, that'll, that'll whack. That's a hit, and I will roll hit. damage. 23, and I roll up. <laughs> Still a pretty good amount of damage. Hit, that's really good. Yeah, okay. 14. She's just she's just laying into it. She gets oh, yeah. Up. That first she gets, she gets to kill things so infrequently. Also, um, the, the funny thing is, is it didn't apply here, but on top of everything, chat, this fire would have been bleeding. Um, would have would have been bleeding had it um, been able to bleed. But fire don't bleed. So. All right. Uh, Takata. Ah, oh, yes, it is time. Uh, Question for you, Thurston. Uh, for my uh, inspires and my dirge of doom, um, I have uh, the feat that gives you increased cast range. Uh, does that count on emanation spells or just ones that have a stated range? Uh, so that is from which ability? Uh, that is from the um, reach spell, I think. Reach spell, now? yeah. Reach yeah. spell feat. Um, does that synergize with the the bard cantrips or no? <coughs> Perfect. Range by 30 feet. Um, oh, that, yeah. Uh, what that means is that, say, for example, you have a range target that says 30 feet to go through. You can extend that to go forward. Uh, but if yeah. you mean emanation, that's that would be widened. That, that would. Yeah. So. so oh, no. OK. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to answer for you, Thurston. My bad. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. I was actually just like quadruple checking for a bridge. So you're good. All righty. In that case. Uh, Tokata is going to begin her turn by pulling open the front of her coat, uh, her long cloak rather, and revealing that her torso is this kind of strange, empty space where one might expect to see a stomach. There is only a great hole through her center with these twisted bits of sinew that form into the strings of a lyre. Uh, as she begins to pluck with her strange distended arms. Uh, I'm going to start off with an Inspire Courage. Uh, and I believe that that does hit everybody without moving. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that yeah, it does hit Vic. Uh, so yeah, everybody, Inspire your Courage. I she is courageous the now. Inspired. Oh, well. I know. I'll apply that so with me, don't worry. Inspired. Uh, and then... I am going to use my remaining two actions to uh, point at Victrix, sing out a little note, and cast haste. She's just grinning oh. under her mask because Vic is as gay as she much as he is an asshole. Bro. I've applied the quickened condition. Yes, and that Wob. should reach because this one actually has a specified range. Yeah. And Tokata is just going to start this this haunting dirge, plucking at the uh, the lyre in her stomach, and that'll be my turn. Nice, nice. <laughs> that's not horrifying or soulsy at all. No, that's fine. <laughs> all right. 
I got a I got a little buddy who's gonna go. Just a little little buddy. Littlest man. Littlest fireman who's gonna head this way. He's gonna come south from from along the forest edge. He's gonna target Pepin. <laughs> no. And then. Not Pepin. No. No. And then he will throw a ball of fire at little Pepin. Jesus you, Christ! A you crit my fucking Pepin! I'll fucking <laughs> kill you. <laughs> I'm focusing all of my healing on Pepin. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Pepin turns towards you, Sir Bray. As a ball of flame comes hurtling <laughs> towards him. No! And it into Try the side lady. of Pepin's skull. Pain is just another step of learning to be a knight, Pepin. <laughs> well, let, let's, let's deal the damage to see if he lives to hear that or not. Oh, God. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. He's smoving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got his persistent fire. He's on fire now. Um, yeah, he took some damage. He's, he's on fire. You know, Pepin, you know. Don't let any, uh, any of my stuff burn. Uh, <laughs> I still have my manuscripts I like to read. Questioning head on fire. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, OK. Uh, there we go. I'll, I'll show I'll show the health in this case for the little boy. Uh, so that was that fire. Uh, then we get. The fire that is by you, Victrix. Um, it is going to like kind of adjust up here, moves north, it's kind of scuttling away from you, and then it turns towards you. It sees you as this towering, inspired, quickened creature, and it looks at you, and then it belches. It belches out a 30 foot line of fire, which will hit both you and the King of Moths. So I require a um, two reflex saves from one, one from each of you, I should say. Oh, okay, no. oh dear. Yeah. He did Time a Charizard attack. <laughs> Aha! 17. That will be a failure for the king. I also get a 20. That will be a failure for on both the of you. Yeah. My, I literally watched the die. It just kind of skidded out from the side on the four and didn't roll at all. So like, yeah, that's a roll, right? No, it's more of a that's more of an electric slide. Okay, and then I will do the same damage to Okay, so both of you take 10 points of fire damage as this, this little elemental goes up and just belches out a blast of flame from its mouth towards both of you. Um, that's its action. Then the one that is in the spout. Um, so does that mess up the ground by its speaker? Oh, is that no, no, I, no, I no. just there because I don't know how to delete it. Ah, uh, well, I see. Okay, good to know. Um, it the teacher, is good. Uh, top left, there's a ruler icon. Click that and then you bang, like hover over it. Press delete. Like hover over it and press delete and then back to the part. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, this one will advance up. And you know what it will do? It'll attack it Pepin. will toss a ball of flame at Pepin. You motherfucker. Pepin, no! Pepin has taunt. <laughs> My boy! He's generating all the enmity. <laughs> Pepin, turn <laughs> off your tank stance! Pepin, <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have taunt on my pet. <laughs> well, the fire put your pet right in now. defensive stance, not aggressive. I'm trying to put him on <laughs> passive, the AI's bored. <laughs> You're ruining this old war raid. <laughs> I can't you mean that. Dude, you're up. Uh, dude Just is going think. to position himself accordingly. I'm going to see if we can keep our party member alive a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean Pepin? Yeah. Pepin alive. You mean Pepin? Yeah, because you're right. Pepin is the only person who, well, besides God, keep alive, who has shown any level of enmity towards nobody else. 
I mean, I'm, I'm more referring to the fact that these things aren't going to be killing Vic or the King of Maws anytime soon. Most likely not, but we can't take any chances. Oh no, Vic's just gonna kill. It's fine. Uh, yeah, we're shitting out 40 damage at a time. <laughs> I, it'll be okay. <laughs> Don't expect that many crits, okay? <laughs> Alright, so is going to saunter over to this cracked and wrecked part by this tree, what I assume is a tree. Way. Uh, and mm -hmm. take aim at this little guy right here who went before me in the initiative order. Which one? Uh, it's the. I'm targeting it right now. Oh, yeah, I it's see. It's the one uh, top right yeah. of a. Uh, that that one. Go. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Uh, Dude, really, is going to levy his golden hand towards this little fire sprite. <laughs> kind of squared up using his thumb as a rangefinder and pull from his knapsack. One big metal tube, screwing it on to his index finger as he fires off his clan pistol. Nice. Oh, it's literally finger guns. He's too stylish. <laughs> too stylish. Has sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> hold on one second. Don't shoot. I'm just using range weapons. So by you... the way, on your character, I'm stealthy. Did, did you <laughs> Are want you crawling? to be prone? Are you like solid snaking this? <laughs> We have commenced virtuous mission. I am here in the swamps. Okay. <laughs> I'm just this is basically sure. Snake Eater. Yeah, you know how you had that sniper in, in you know, Metal Gear 3 called The End? This guy is called The Beginning. Yep. <laughs> so true, bestie. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Do, do, do the, the, the pew pew. Okay. Oh, 30 bang. hit. Uh, 30 will uh, will hit, yes. Sorry, I'd like to point out the, the ranged strike uh, descriptor here. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for, yes. For podcast, it says range strike, clan handgun. Get it? Because it's a literal handgun. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please roll the 360 no scope. 16 damage. Plus bleeding. Emotional damage. Emotional bab. No, it takes 1d6 persistent Ooh. bleed. It, they don't bleed, sadly. It's, haven't you ever oh, heard of entropy? It's heat being leached off. It's basically that, like fire They are bleeding. immune to bleed. Hulky, they I don't want you. I make a narrative bleed. declaration that Hulky, fire stop. Bleed Hulky, <laughs> Hulky, wait, please. Before you go too much further on that, remember in Divinity Original Sin, if you made things bleed fire, they bled fire. I, I never played Divinity. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that. Okay, well, don't do that. <laughs> uh, so you moved... And then loaded your gun and fired, right? Was that the... Correct. All right. It's the Don't end of next the dudes. The doodle. All right. Now our next little buddy. He's going to do a double move to get close, y'all. He's going to run in front of his buddy. And you know what he's going to do with his last third action? You, I swear to fucking I God. Know. Hey, you know what? No, I want to. I want to make a clarification. Okay, I have okay. two. I have undead mastery because I cool. technically have two companions, and I, and I got mm -hmm. up for my free dedication <sighs> thing to go for. I only have one. No, fuck you. Right, that's a one. one. And you have no villain points, so fuck you. <laughs> and and I can only have one active companion out. So you hitting Pepin is illegal. That just sounds like case. you didn't do your taxes right, Zorin. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you fumbled this the rules like more the than the fucking Chewbacca in. defense my, right here. My current active companion is my undead mount. And during battle, I can only have one active companion <coughs> as the other one is on the sidelines, and Pepin's on the sidelines. Okay, redirect those attacks that went to Pepin directly Wait, do, towards do the, Ray. Do the, do the fucking natural physics of the universe prevent Pepin from existing while you're riding on your horse? I'm bullshitting oh, here, God. and I need you to be on my side. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking shit myself. Get on with it. <laughs> It's like, but, but technically it is true, but I'm okay with Peppa getting shot at. Like, Ray. I just like the idea of it's like you're you're with your two friends and so then you get jumped by a robber, but because of how companion rules work, one of them just disappears into nothing. He, he does the, the, he does the peace sign and just slowly no yeah. Clip, away. Yeah. yeah, no. All right, Sir Bray. It is now my turn, <coughs> and Sabre goes, With the music of the Antarctic Lady, I shall avenge your damaged bones, Pepin! 
by yeah. my burning bones, you shall be avenged. And then, Bre and then uh, yeah. Sir Bray Barrow, yeah, just fuck off, Evan. And then he just, <laughs> he just charges forth. And uh, I'm going to have Victrix and the King of Moss deal with the two on the right. Uh, but he's going to try to right. start doing some tanking stuff. But he's going to... He's going to move a total through Pep and Space. Yeah. I can move through Allied Spaces. He's yep. going to go a total of... <laughs> and because I uh, because of my advancement on the uh, thing, I do not have to automatically... I don't have to spend an action to tell my mount to move. I just... They, mm -hmm. they just naturally get a free one. So they go hop up. And they can only move one for one single action. So for my mount, right up to there. And since I have a support benefit for the mount, which is your skeleton mount strikes fear when it charges, which I'm going through until the start of your next turn. Uh, if you're riding your skeletal mounts and move at least 10 feet on the action before your attack, the creature damaged by the attack becomes frightened one. Or frightened two, the attack was a critical hit. This is emotional fear and mental effect. So going right up to this uh, fire elemental that's to the north of us. And as he's going through, I have a lance. Uh, Sir Bray Merrow yeah. has a lance and like, thank you, Pepin. I, I know this lance was part of your family for many years and killed them, but you don't have to be fearful of the lance. And he just, whoosh, just pretty much strikes into uh, the fire elemental that that hit his dearest Pepin to the north. I want to strike uh, him with a lance. I have Inspire Courage, Pwn Super Rune, all that fun stuff. Stab! I got a 10 on a die for a total of 27. Is that a hit? <laughs> that, that's a hit. Lance yeah, be that's like a hit. Awesome. And I'll go ahead and roll damage. So I has wanted... a total of 17 damage on him. I and have a question. You had do you get extra damage for that? Uh I would get deadly. Uh jousting D6 because I am on a horse. That was so what I was I, gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get, you get jousting. Yeah. yeah, I get jousting because I'm on a horse. I got one extra damage. Yeah. <laughs> All right. D6. Uh, I didn't. I didn't do anything else. Um, I'm just checking all the other stuff. I want to quickly call attention uh, to in in the actual game chat. If I could have all of our players look at Sir Bray Marrow's like icon it's when small. he's rolling, he's yes. very tiny. It's very tiny. Uh, there is also some tiny. additional fear. Additional. Thing. Okay, did not hit him with that weapon, so he can't get automatic fear a result, but. That happens in um, the yeah. So for the specification, there's the clear it up with you. It says until the start of your next turn for the fear thing. I assume next turn if I hit him, I apply a fear effect just to make sure. Or is it which, now? which ability was that for? I have the support benefit for my undead mature skeleton mount. It says oh. like your skeleton mount strikes fear when it charges until the start of your next turn. If you are riding your skeletal mount, move at least 10 feet in the action before your attack. Any creature damaged by the attack becomes frightened one. So I assume it's now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So, so that guy that, would be so. frightened one. Gotcha. And as he is frightened one, I got my I got my move, struck him, and now I am going to demoralize him. I'm going to look at him and look him in the eye, and going, "My friend, the King of Moss will make sure you're you're doused by the by the watery magic of something." I did. I had a bit, and it died. <laughs> anyway, fuck you. <laughs> piss blast. You got yeah. it. You you tell the him. The King of Moss will brother. piss all over you. <laughs> what? It's this little fire guy's like. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. For my last little time to demoralize. That is probably the second most disturbing thing I've seen yeah. today. And I have Intimidating Prowess, which gives me a plus one. That's one of my feats. And bam! Roll a 12 on the die for 30. That is a critical success. Jesus um, Christ. But he will be frightened too, so he's a total fighting three. <laughs> and because yeah. of my fear aura and stuff and everything that I have, uh, he cannot go lower than uh, fear one. Anybody within me, I think, uh, 30 feet. So. <laughs> That's my turn. Sorry, I'm complicated. That's <laughs> speaker's yes. turn. I, I promise I'm not going to piss on you, though. That's one thing I won't do. Piss I'm on just him. going to kill you. He hurt my Pepin. I'm going to move my character. I'm going to move my character. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to. How do you do that? I need to know how to do that. Yeah. Uh, good question. What and you the fuck? What are you trying to do? If you all recall, Tentacles had emerged from my body 
to grab the chest. And one such tentacle is going to come to here, is going to begin gathering magics as the King of Moths raises his hand and allows the strange eye patterns on his cloak to begin shimmering. And now he's just going to call out, Fall! And I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt from this position. Uh, using my reach spell from tentacles. Tentacle hand. What is it? Tentacle something other. Some tentacle limbs. Tentacular so, limbs. So you're trying to cast lightning bolt, right? Like the line spell? Yes. Uh, you're, it, or, it originates from you. Oh, but I can't extend my reach to 20 feet to deliver the spell? No, uh, that's not yeah. how that works. Yeah. Uh, that would basically, that would be like extending it because it originates from you. So it's you in a line. You don't oh, cast it from somewhere and okay. direct it. In that case, uh, you can all line up the if shot. You run, if you run, yeah, you can like move adjacent to it and blast it as yeah, well. If you move remember, like it doesn't get right. Then, yeah. I can't. I can't move to here though. This oh, is the first I can move. Oh. I only have twenty-five inch move. Wait, weren't you in range though? No. Nah. Oh, I wasn't. Mm, that's why that's I fine. needed to use my tentacular limbs. Uh, if I cast a line. I'm only going to hit two. That's not worth it. Uh, um, I, guess I'll, hmm. I, guess, I guess I'll just go back and I'll just cast spout again. Um, I will cast spout, my mighty spout. Uh, oh, let me. Oh, God. Oh, please. Here we go. Behold. Um, oh, that'll get both. Yeah, that'll get both of those fools. If they could make right. me a reflex save. I will do the weekend one first. Oh my god. Hey! And then I will do the other one. Yeah, that's good. going to burst him like a bimple. Hey! hey! So uh, roll sweet, sweet Dimaggio, please. Alrighty then. Big pile. That's going to be 15. So uh, you destroy the first one. As the, the the water comes rushing up, cleaning away the little filthy fire, and it goes, as it like melts into the swamp, and the last of its flames are taken away, most of its energy having already been uh, banished down by Victrix, and the other one takes a solid hit as it's sort of washed to the side side. Like, ah. all right, and then I will use my movement to come bravely over oh. here, cool. and, and that'll be my turn. Hey, good turn. You did a lot of damage. Yeah. Yay. Evo That's a lot of damage. Blasto. All right. Randil. Uh, why did my, why did the buff wear off? Shouldn't have. I don't know why. Let me put that on you. All right. Uh, let me think. Honestly, it's it's simple enough. She's just going to move up oh, one. That went off because that only lasts a round. You have to do lingering composition for Inspire Courage to say so it's already a new round. Oh, it doesn't carry on to the top of my turn. Yeah. Uh, it yeah, should. It, does. So it should. It didn't. That yeah. was the problem. Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it automatically gets rid of it. But I think the turn order of ours was weird at the start, but it should be good. Yeah. My bad. Wow, it's I actually good. can't move just because my system's lagging a little bit. Oh, no, we're where do you want to go to if how do I move with the with the measure tool? Uh, are like, you trying to like I can't, drag over and press space and change? Yeah, it's just it doesn't, one it left click and drag. Because uh, I couldn't do that before. It doesn't matter. I'll move into range of this guy. Yeah, and I am going to swing. I'll just swing, swing at him. OK. Go for a swing, swing. That's why. <gasps> oh, not with it. Just two. I'm gonna narr I'm just gonna re-roll that with a hero point. Hero quest. Yeah, hero. Oh, hero point go. Hero point with a twenty. Of course. Hero point. <laughs> it's not twenty, but a critical hit anyway. Awesome. Uh, all right. Little crit. She'll she'll do much. She'll just like try to beat this thing into the dirt with her glaive. Oh, God. She raises up the glaive really high and deals a fuck ton of damage again and just pounds and beats it into the dirt. It's it's pretty beat up. Well, she's going to keep hitting it then. I guess you would want to exacting strike here because technically you have another action, right? No, I moved, but you're quickened. 
Oh, so I am. So in that case, I will yeah. exacting strike. Well, it, you can only do a strike or a move with him. Yeah, but he moved, so he would have okay. used quick oh, yeah, and a move. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Bad. My bad. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do exacting strike in this case. What? Uh, exacting strike doesn't give me any bonuses. However, if I fuck it up, it won't it won't make the map worse. Yeah. So so for people listening, what this will do is if Victrix misses this attack, then and does a third attack, the third attack would still only be at minus five. It would not be at the minus ten it normally would be, which is pretty cool. Fighters, pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going so good. Uh, that one will miss and I'll just eat that because that means I get to roll a map minus five again instead of a map minus ten. Exactly. She's gonna, the glaive is just gonna land in the dirt. She's gonna yep. pick it back up again, and she's going to swing it some more. And that's going to hit. And hit that's going to deal damage. Wow, it's like we're showing off how the system it's works. It's actually going to do a decent bit of damage, too. 13. It's oh, it's going dead. It has very few hit points remaining. This little, she, this little she flame is not, clings to existence. Clings. She is not an articulate fighter. She will, like try to either beat you to death with the sharp end of her glaive or she'll like just beat you to death with the blunt end of it she'll she'll do what she can just to make sure you die violently and bloody. next person's term Odo Obo. that's me it's Oboroshi uh Oakley Dokley so I'm going to begin my turn there aren't really a lot of people hurting so I'm going to uh, pluck out another Inspire Courage. Let loose this hideous, uh, melodic wailing that is inspirational. Yep, just like the bagpipes. Mm -hmm. Exactly, just like oh, the bagpipes. I'm so inspired by this hideous, melodic moaning. What does it sound like? Is it just horrible? Just... Oh, like it's, it's definitely melodic, but it's kind of, uh, kind of haunting. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. She, she Bryce it's snapped pretty, his fingers. Up. She's like, yeah, yeah. Plin, plin, <laughs> it, it is, it is pretty Yeah, exactly. Up, like Hit him with that plin, plin, plon. Um, and then for my second spell, um, there's not really kill steal. else I should be doing. So yeah, I am going to kill steal Victrix, uh, just to free her up to go and do bigger damage elsewhere. Uh, go. I'm going to do a telekinetic projectile. The I'm best. going to uh, reach into my body, pluck out some little, like, uh, chunk of flesh, and magically just shoot it forward. Uh, one sec, real. Within quick. range? Yeah. It's 30 uh, feet. Uh, uh, reach spell. Reach spell. Uh, <laughs> That's right. It takes yeah. an action to do reach. Yeah. Oh, you have to use oh. an extra action to do it? Yeah, you have to do an action and then, uh, then the spell. Uh... You are correct. Damnation. Okay. Uh, never mind then. Can you just throw a bottle at it? A bottle? What? I'm not Baldric. That doesn't have to be full. It's going to be like an empty bottle. It's probably got like no health. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I oh, you just... two took a fiery, fiery thing. Um, I'm just looking uh... at your spells. Ooh. Yeah, I think I might. Uh, I'm gonna drop a spiritual weapon. Yeah. I because I can I can drop it and strike. Correct. I believe so. Um, yeah. If you if you do yeah. a summon creature, as soon as you summon it or do a summon thing, it should act right after you're done with your actions. Based. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. When you cast the spell, the weapon appears next to a foe. Uh, you choose within range, and you make a strike. Each time you sustain, you can move the weapon to a new target within your range if needed and strike. So yeah, oh, you, you yeah, summon it like, and make a strike. It's not a summoned creature. It's just yeah. like a weird. It's kind of like flaming sphere. So yeah, yeah you I mean, can yep. absolutely do that, Odo. I mean, what uh, kind of weapon do you? Uh... Um, I believe Tokata's weapon would be. Hmm. It would probably look like a sort of spinal column that curves into kind of like a scythe looking thing. Mm. Creepy. Very. Uh, I'll, I'll drop her right there. Yeah, if you click the cast button on your sheet, that should like drop it in chat as well, I think, right? The yeah. sickle scapula. Yes. Sweet. All right, it's there. And then uh, just target the boy and click attack. All righty. You can do it. Yes. Let's go, Odo. Let's go. Yeah, starting. Yes. Why go. do I never get these rolls on volley? Because <laughs> the game knows we're not gonna be here that often. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. 
I gotta, I gotta build up your confidence. So, so Kata stays winning. <laughs> okay, roll this damage. Just, this just proves these guys are cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. All Actually, right, that's gonna be six. double that. Well, that that kills that little guy with your spell yeah. oh. magic spell. You're welcome, Miss Victrix. Ah, fine. Ah, <laughs> yay! You should be appreciative gotta... of friendly support. It's why you hired us. She is going to disregard that and look for the next thing to kill. <laughs> <laughs> um. This I'm little sorry. fire buddy goes into the difficult terrain here, right by you. And you know um, what he does? Okay. What? Well, no, no, no. Uh, you got, every you single got. time that speaker's mic activates, because he's, he's typing or something else, I just see his character go, "What? What? What?" Wow. <laughs> what his is arms it? come up. What is it? He's gonna start juggling. No. I'm oh, gonna drive. I'm, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop a light uh, or a, a flame blast, a belch of flame. I want to use a reaction if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. As he comes up near me, yeah. Um, I want to make sure I can do this correctly. Okay. Uh, nope. Never mind. Uh, let it continue, and then I'll do my reaction. My bad. Keep going. Okay. I, I am going. I am going to make you give me a reflex save. Super Marrow. Yeah, I have to do it for. For both of them, because you're, you're also targeting my horse, and it's a separate thing, so I can do both. Oh, I'm so. I'm actually targeting something behind the horse too. Oh, I know you're doing it for Peppin, you fucking asshole. You want to kill Peppin, you fucko? Again? Oh my god, what's Bulwark? Fuck. Zoran, it's only fair. I mean, yeah. like we have been trying to kill Picaturn for true. years. God, for what for feels years. like years. For safety, I'm not gonna. Do. Oh, Bulwark. The fuck was yeah, bulwark? Don't just, just well, uh, yeah, yeah. I will I, kick I, off my I bulwark or anything. Bulwark, pepper. What is that? Great right, armor covers you completely prevents you from damage. You oh right, fuck you! <laughs> I have full plate. <laughs> That's right, I have full plate. The armor covers you completely, then it provides benefits against some damaging effects. A reflex save to avoid a damaging effect such as a fireball and plus three modifier instead of dexterity modifier. <laughs> Yeah, 17 on the die, and it's a 32 in the reflex save for him, but Peppin. <laughs> Peppin. I'm going to Peppin, roll. he rolled his reflex save with a plus 14. Peppin. Oh, I saw that one. <laughs> he got a 21 for his reflex you save. Will, you will succeed, Zorn. You will take half of this. Uh, Peppin I now seem to roll for the horse. Peppin will fail. Uh, The horse will get. He gets a spark current. And the horse. Uh, no, it does not get in Sparker, so it would be twenty-eight. Yeah, so both you and uh, both you and and the uh, the horse will take half of uh, that. So I think it's five. <laughs> so, did, hey, uh, Zoran, did, I thought of a, I thought of a really good thing. Yes, uh, I thought of a really good thing here. This is the inciting incident why Pepin will not be around when you have the horse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's just good. fucking dead. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, uh, no, no, no. I, he's he's doing. He's, he's like, no. Okay, I can only put up with so much. I either have me or the horse. Why is he so be much strong, bad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. um, I what, moved what my you horse. I moved my thing here, Thurston, so you can uh, uh, just so you can select them or oh, yeah, so, so you, you can damage, damage the horse. Yeah. Okay, well, if he took if he took any damage, unless he crit succeeded. There you go. Dear King of Moths, how can you cast with tentacles for your hands? It's a very funny question. Bulky saved me. <laughs> you turned into fucking Raul. No, Tejada. you let this happen. You let this. <laughs> the horse's name is Glue. Sorry, Chad. My yeah, apologies. My the horse's name is Glue because it's, it plans on sticking around. All right, we're going to this one right there who is afraid. And I am going to move out of though I'm so close. Fuck. Fun. There's a cart in the way. There is a cart in the way. Yeah. However. You're in a good shooting position and you got to reload. Yeah. I would like to object interact to reload my handgun and I'm going to strike. Okay. 
Here we go. Which one are you uh, shooting at? Shoot at the one right in front of Sir Mero. Yeah. Right there. I'd like Here to, we go. uh, for, for chat and everyone, I apologize if I'm constantly feels like I'm backseating people. Um, like they made the character, they never, we never got to do a test thing, so I'm just trying to help out where I can. So I apologize if I'm like sounding super obnoxious to it. Just okay, you out. hit. I did. I hit with a 26. I'm gonna, yeah. here, here, here's my funny little damage. Whee! There we go. Oh, wow. Not good damage values at all. Holy shit. 11 yeah. damage in total. Cool. It's, that hits it. Yeah. Blast. Kabang. Your pistol goes and hits this little guy. I'm I think in the future you might not want to be prone because you have prone minus two to your attacks. That may be the case. I, yeah, I, <laughs> fuck. Unfortunate. Oh, we can. Yeah, we use more remaining action. Get up. Yeah, because yeah, for you sure. as a gunslinger, you want to crit. So good when you crit. All right, you're getting up. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. I got another fire up in this sizzle. It's giggling at you. It's it's so happy. Um, oh, I know. It was quit before. your fucking giggling. It's going to move. It's going to, you know what? Because I assume Victrix yells, quit your fucking giggling. Yeah, sure. She'll taunt. Okay. okay. Sounds good. It's going to move. Attack of opportunity. Yeah, I figured. Give me that shit. Do it. Do it. Uh, Do so let me it. just check. Because I've never Do done it. opportunity before. It's just a strike. Kill. Just yeah, you just like normal hit. I can do the strike. Yeah, it's like just strike yeah, full 18, map. No map. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, I will hit it. Yeah, give me damage. It's remarkable that I hit damage. on an 11. It's so fucking crazy. Anyway. Dude, fighters are like just... Slap. Honking, Holy you know. shit. 21 damage. You hit it, and it gets so angry when you hit it. Like you see, it starts standing there, shaking, like, ah, 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 and it just blasts out a five-foot emanation. I need reflex saves from uh, both you and uh, Sir Mero as it explodes, blasting out like the filth that's accumulated on its bottom from like dragging along the swamp. As it just blasts it out of both of you. So Bray so, Mero got a 33 in his reflex. Nice. Uh, did did Takata re up the Inspire Courage? Yeah, it's it's on you. You've got okay because because uh, I'm it's offering me to check the Inspire Courage or not for some That's reason. That's weird, but yeah, it, the token thing's on you. So but okay. I can see the math once you roll it. So fine, fine. A... Do it. Uh, she gets a one. Uh, oh yes. no! Also, yes. there, I'll move my thing so you can target the horse if it did damage. Yeah. Um, I have, have a horse will pass. So, uh, okay, so this will do two d twelve piercing damage, and then double because uh, Victrix failed. So, Vic, you're gonna take bam thirty points. The horse will have succeeded and will take half, and Sermero crit succeeded and takes none. As just detritus and shots of jagged rubbish fly out from him. And also I get a complication on uh, Vic. Yeah. Go ahead. Give me the give me the complication. Give me the give you the complication. Give it to you. Complicate her ass. Give 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 me a complicate. Complicate. Hurry up! I'm looking, I'm looking. There. We've Hurry used up. a lot of saves based ones here. Remember, chat, if you too <sighs> want to submit what happens to us whenever we roll a natural one, you can go to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. And on the adventure tier, you too can submit your own complication. We put them into like a big old pool, and whenever this stuff happens, we just pluck up from them. So you, you too, too can, can really submit a complication. You too can submit a complication where someone rips their pants open. Yeah. Oh, like that joke's been done before. Ah. Okay. I'm going to use this one here from uh, Sarah Scrape. This one's called, Oh Shit, That Was Real. You were convinced that the incoming source of damage or whatever that forced you to make the save was an elaborate illusion or deception. And um, you have to face it head on. You gain the confused condition while you figure out what is real and what isn't real. 
Who uh, who submitted that complication? Uh, Sarah Grapes. Thank That's you. I said, yeah, yeah. It's pretty Thank you for cool. That. Wow. Yeah. So we'll that. see. Uh, the confused condition is is you are flat footed and you don't treat anyone as an ally, um, and you use all of your actions to uh, to strike. Um, your targets are determined randomly, but they'll be the ones that are in range. So for right now, it'll at least be the little buddy. Um, that's the little buddy's go, Sir Bray Marrow. The, oh, wait, did the explosion not kill him? He just exploded. He just, yeah, he just like got really angry and then blew out a bunch of shrapnel. He did not Very like funny. suicide bomb you. Uh, Vic's going to like pull a nasty looking like length of wood from her fucking forearm and is going to throw it on the ground and is going to just start whipping around her glaive wildly now that she is all over the place, I guess. <laughs> It is now time, Sir Bray Marrow will go, Don't worry, Miss Fish Victrix, I will help you. And you'll Sir see that. Sir Victrix, where am oh, I? Whatever. <laughs> you have been Sir added Bray to the target queue. does not <laughs> discriminate. <laughs> You've been added to the targeting uh, If you're wondering why I'm uh, rolling dice, it's because I forgot the persistent fire on Pepin from last turn. I'm just going to apply that there. You are going to be, um, you are actually technically in range, I think, aren't you? Like me? Uh, right now he is. If he doesn't move, me? yeah. <laughs> if he no, no, remember, it, it's, remember, it's randomly determined who yeah. I hit next. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Well, for you, for a 10 foot thing, um, for your range, but yeah, you would be. Well, that's fine, because I'm going to go uh, that and then back down. Pretty much, I'm having my mount pretty much just go up, up. And come right down, pretty much, because it, it gets an automatic. It, it gets uh, basically to specify. I have Beastmaster companion or mature Beastmaster companion. I could they get a stride or a strike automatically if I don't do command. He's command, fucking you know? cycle charging. So, what a piece just, of shit! Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I was actually hoping he would move up, hit the other one, then would like hit, hit, like try to hit both of them, but move out of range of you, and then you would fucking go like, crazy and kill Pepin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like. I want to caution the other one because I think everybody else can finish this one off. So I'll I'll redo oh, my my Pepin. movement there and go here. Pepin is a is a beast, and I am confident that someone has a sooth spell and cares about Pepin. I hope I'm Pepin confident. doesn't move into range of Victrix. I, I can't move Pepin. He's what? not even supposed to be there. Who? Yeah. <laughs> you have to direct him. You can only direct one of your summoned companions, and apparently you like your horse some more. I'm on I'm the horse. Yeah, I know. Whose fault is that? Make your attack. See, oh, see what happens. No, what, no, what, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I get a free automatic movement for one of my things. It, it's, it will break the game real quick. I don't know why there's like a... Oh, that's a summon. That's the defender. spiritual weapon, I yeah, think, I from got eight real hours ago. It finally oh, God. appeared. <laughs> yeah, I got real confused. And um, basically, I will spit, since we'll have to break the game for this, and you keep targeting Pepin, I'll spend one of my actions to tell Pepin to fuck off. <laughs> Go away. So he'll use all 25 of his, all of, all of his movement to not get hit and okay. go over that way and just burn. <laughs> the um, magic weapon's just fucking around. So now I have two actions left, and I'm gonna use one of them Great. to target this this elemental that has full health currently, yes. and uh, I'm going to strike him with my lance. Yep. And that Jesus is Christ. an 18 there on the die, 35 nice. total. That is a crit, which is yep. exactly what I like. And that'll be 31. Ooh. Points of damage with deadly and everything plus a d6. 2d6. 2d6? Okay, just three and double, I guess. Um, yeah. So, six, seven. The so 37 points of damage. Yeah, I got that. And then I'll just take four more. Or six more. There we go. Okay, ow. Ow. Oh, yeah. Ow. A lot of damage there. And uh, what I'm going to do. Lastly, is it's gonna stab him again? Just, yeah. <laughs> just stab with the lance on my, on my. uh Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna demoralize him. I'm also gonna look at this flame. Be like, blah, 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 and then demoralize him. Hey, for my Do last it. action, the lower his thing because he can't go lower than one. Uh, frightened with that, so I'm gonna target him. Intimidation. 
Dominating prowess is what I have. I rolled a natural Ooh. one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, with all that, like I'm like a master of intimidation. All right, Thurston. I'm looking. I'm already looking. One sec. Let's see what we get here. This is a very this critical concentration episode. of nat ones versus nat twenties. Yeah, we got a lot. We've been struggling in this game. Mm hmm. This is this is math. I like math. It's fun. Uh, let's go. What the. Why aren't you scared? Why? Why aren't you scared? Because it's fire, dipshit. Uh. <laughs> it's a meat. Oh, shit. Th my intimidation is banging. It's fire, asshole. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use one here. I think. I'm spitting think on the fire. Be down. <laughs> I'm going to use this one from Drunken Finn. Okay. Okay. Thanks, okay. Finn. You're, yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to g give me a little leeway here, um, Zorn. This one's called Bitch Slap 2.0. Okay. Uh, when you fail a verbal check, you slap the creature you're having a conversation with. So I assume that what I'm going to say, and this is the, the downside of the complication is, is, you're so mad at this thing, like after and trying to demoralize, it's all like, hee hee ha You jump off your horse and slap it. I'll accept that. I'll, yeah. I'll be demounted uh, just for you. I'll, That's... What, I'll do you one better. Okay. Um, if, if you allow me, to, if, allow me to move my horse so we can just not have this all complicated. Yeah, we'll yeah. do that. And I'm willing to drop my lance <laughs> and come out because I have a gauntlet. Yeah. And we'll just, oh. we'll just play as that. And, and I'll just go whoosh. And I assume, um, I assume I'll go whoosh. And it's like, and I look at my hand. My golly hand's on fire, and I go, ah! <laughs> and I start trying to put it out. Ah, ah. Yeah, acceptable. How acceptable. dare you? Slaps you, gets caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be the end of my turn. Beautiful. I like it. All right. Speaker. <laughs> Speaker B. All right. The King of Moth's strange tentacles are going to pierce into the ground right here as a as he inhumanly slides into place without moving. Oh shit, Before lightning bolt. He raises his hand to the sky. It's gonna do it, y'all. Says, I call upon Lady Fortune, high in the sky, like a beautiful mother. I call upon her power, Asita Luna. And I will cast lightning. All right, Volley, give me a reflex save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, hold on, I got you, I got you, I got you. I behind the bush. Like, <laughs> like, I saw what you did there, Speakist. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Someone had to. Bug brother. Yeah, Volley failed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Lightning strike. Oh god. Okay. Um can you cast the spell so I can click the thing speak or <laughs> that is physically yeah. impossible. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. All right, let me place my uh, Oh my god. Well, that's the wrong line. Uh, other direction. <laughs> I mean, technically Victrix is fair game because she's confused. So, if you need help, <laughs> speaker, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool effects. Uh here, I'll I'll help you step by step. Pr click the measuring tool top left. Okay. Click that and you'll see a little like box thing that's in front of you. Hover over your <laughs> mouse over and press delete. Okay. So that'll get rid of that. So now go back to the chat there that says plays 120 foot line. When you're about yes. to click, hold shift, I think, and then scroll wheel and it'll rotate it. Don't click. Oh, yeah, God. don't click it yet. You have to rotate it first. Please. Don't worry, God. chat, when we if, get this right, anything it's else, be so cool. Yeah, so <laughs> please God, let me come. So I'm there you go. I, I, and now I, it'll do it. There and now, we go. Yeah. <laughs> Now these sons of bitches gotta make me a reflex save. <laughs> Succeed both of them just to like ruin the cool effect there. I would kill myself. <laughs> In Minecraft. No, <laughs> that that could well, I could fail the first one. How about the second one? <laughs> Let's go. I'll succeed on the other one, but the first one, please. Oh, oh God, yes. Oh, please kill this one. Let's roll some oh. Baje. Look at oh. all that oh damage Oh my god, die. Speaker, you blast him. <laughs> yes! You blast Erndil him! Erndil sees it! Erndil sees it! Dinner blaster! 
Speaker, I, I applaud you so very much for, for obliterating these guys. I regret to inform you, you are now the only person in range of a confused Victrix who must attack. Yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm sure calmer heads will prevail. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, okay, cool. Uh, okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, who's next? Oh, guess, yeah, take a guess who. <laughs> take a guess who. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Thurston, what the hell do I do? Do I literally right, just confused, spend my entire confused, turn attacking? Confused. You use all of your actions to strike or cast offensive cantrips so the GM can have you use other actions to facilitate attacks, such as drawing a weapon, moving your target or determined randomly by the GM. If you have no other viable targets, you target yourself. It's impossible to attack spells. Um, yeah, no, you just fucking attack. I've right. got so, great. I've got great news for you, though. OK, <laughs> OK, um, because of a mix of my tentacular limbs controlling my body, as well yeah. as the fact that that fire tragically, tragically, critically failed their save. I think that there was some kick to that lightning bolt and I will spend a narrative declaration to send me flying back just out of range of Vitrix. You, you need to move two hexes. You need to move two squares away. Oh, it had a did. lot of kick to it. Mark him. Mark that fucker down here. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. It is a new round and you do have attack of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has to be my turn first. He's already spent it. Uh huh. Yeah, he did. He spent it on the guy who came in. That's right. He can't. He Much can't as I'd love it. to hurt Speaker, no, oh. I, I have to be fair. <laughs> oh God! All right. Yeah, uh, what I just troll. did was very fair. You needed to do that because otherwise you would be on the receiving end of three glaive attacks. What? Whatever. Jesus. Just fucked my shit up. <laughs> no, don't worry. You're okay now. Now Vic just hurts herself whirling around with her glaive oh, in confusion. No. Oh no, you move. You move towards an available target. Oh. Which yeah. are you moving me towards, eh, fucko? That there you one. go. All right, now cool. Now now target the fire. It's it's the closest. Technically, these are both in range, though. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm going to be generous and let you strike with so your free action to move. Then your first strike on the on the fire. I'm being nice here. <laughs> wow, they're starting this hostile gear. That's going to miss. Uh, OK, OK, that will that'll miss. OK, now you can make your um, your exacting strike. Exacting strike. Go. Uh, that will hit. Good. Roll me damage. Damaging. Eh, late damage. 14. Oh, see, this is what you needed. And now uh, give me one final attack. That, since Matt. the exacting strike hit, this will still be a minus. 10. Yeah, I know. It'll be minus 10. Go! That will just That'll miss. miss. A lack she, she's, a lack. she's totally out of sorts. Yeah. She's confused. Uh, no longer. All right, she comes Obo. to her senses. It's me, Oboro Shirider. My oh, God. Um. Well, these some bitches sure do look hurting. Uh. So I'm just gonna uh sustain my spiritual weapon and clonk that guy on the noggin. Boink. So I'm. Is it gonna be like one to sustain bonk and then one to keep the inspire up or? Yep. Cool. That is what I will do. I guess you can move too. Yeah. That's humorous. Cool. Give me, give me the bonk. Fuck Roll me the you. bonk attack. I'm bonking him. Bonk it. That will, I that will him. hit. That'll hit. Eleven. Bonk. It's quack. Okay, can you make multiple attacks with the the spiritual bonk? Uh, can you? I don't think so. I think, yeah, I think you can only do it once. Yeah, cast the spell, choose a strike. Each time you sustain, you can move up to a new target. Uh, oh, wow. It uses and contributes to your uh, to your multiple attack penalty. That's very funny, actually. Yeah. Oh, so I could attack twice, could I? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Just with then, the multiple uh, attack Please penalty. finish this combat. I'll go ahead and bop it. Try give it another up. bop. I'll bop him. Bop it. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just going to have to manually put in the map because it doesn't want right. to pop up. Pop it. Bip it. Whack. Bip it. That 20. All right. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? Uh, 
Thank you. And as the as the Quack. spiritual weapon, the the spinal scythe bashes the final gold, you know, chuckling little flame elemental into the dirt. How about we take a very quick break? Yes, please. Yay. Okay. Okay. I do we'll so much back. damage. Oh, sorry. We'll be uh, back after these messages. Oh, and before we go to the break, messages. to clarify, so Thurston doesn't fucking kill Pepin like he's trying to right now. Um, actually, so Brave Arrow will come up to Pepin, and he will stop trying to kill my fucking squire, Thurston. He'll, he'll this come bit up wasn't to Pepin. funny when you did it with, with Pixar, quit it. <laughs> he will come up to Pepin and, and tap him on the shoulder and go like, Dearest Pepin, burning through the fires of battle is a, is a good initiator of becoming a knight. I'm proud of you, Pepin. He'll be uh. such an excellent squire and he'll touch him. He will do touch of corruption on him. And um, <laughs> what that does is basically um, it will heal him because he's necrotic. And actually, hold up. Let me... Me target and click this, see if it does something. It doesn't. Okay, I'm just getting a billion errors for no reason. And um they'll heal 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 him for twenty-four. Huh. And then and he's that, no longer on fire. Yeah, he's no longer on fire. We I saved Pepin, my squire, and we're gonna be right back. Goodbye! Zorin is about to die. When he dies, he will die in real life forever. Not a joke, for real. This is funny. But it doesn't have to be. Through your support on Patreon, we can find a way to incrementally slow this train before he is destroyed in complete agony forever. In exchange for your patronage, you'll receive access to the show early, unique monsters, lore, spells, and items. What a deal. And that's not even counting your early access to stream VODs, behind the scenes content, and more. That's a lot of value! Just listen to this testimonial from a longtime patron. Who is this Zorin guy again? Terrific stuff. Please head over to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Because if you don't. Bodger! Bodger, there's a train! Train! Buddy! No! I can't believe you killed them. Oh, They're I killed all them. gone. I killed them all. And not just the men, but the women and the children, too. They were animals. Wow. Were they made of sand? And I slaughtered them like it! Yeah, they were actually. Uh, which wow, made slaughtering them up. rather rough and coarse, and it got everywhere. Yeah, is this joke still funny? No, it's not. Let's move on. All right. No, you <laughs> All right, we are back. Hello. 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 So yeah, with uh with that, our uh our, our B team has defeated the the fire flame elementals that seem to be uh emerging around here. Um well, what is everyone doing now that they they they've defeated these elementals? There's sort of like a like the, the the embers have died on the air. There's like a couple little brush fires, but that's it. Um yeah, what's everyone want to do right now? Have we gotten <laughs> all the money? I believe so. More than we were being paid for, certainly. Then I believe that, um, how do you say it? Fuck this place. Well, let's not be so quick to leave a well-paying job. There could be even more money at the next site. Mm. That is say, you guys are in the hall for the next spot, not just this one. <laughs> well... It's at times like this I like to think on the bright side. At least we're not these poor unfortunate fools. <laughs> Everyone, laugh with me! <laughs> Nick's going to just, like, kick one of the, the rotten little bits of blob that was on fire a moment ago. Stupid yeah. Bastard blew up on me. As you do, you kind of, like, like kick some soot, and you, you, you look down and realize that in like partly embedded in the ground are the like absolutely burned remnants of humanoid bodies um possibly like a, a human that was completely scorched and then just kind of what was left kind of glided into the ground a bit or sat and settled into the ground i should say mm. um can I roll an arcana check to understand what I would know about these entities, which were clearly summoned? I already know that. Yeah, sure. Um, Give me arcana. Absolutely. You got it. 
Uh, that would be a 33, good sir. Sweet. Uh, these are elemental beings known as filth fires. Uh, so they're like elementals that tend to s gain their own like s flame from burning filth and rubbish around them. Uh, I can take like natural filth and other things. Uh, you can ask me three questions about them. Um, what magic can summon them? Um, like lots of elemental summoning. So like the, the common summon elemental spell at certain points, you could summon a creature like this. Um, you know, there might be like alchemicals that could contain these types of creatures that could maybe be thrown like a bottle to like summon them as well. That, to, that could be a thing. To what end are they summoned frequently? Um, typically they're sort of like callous destruction. They get summoned, and what they do is they, they take advantage of terrain. So in this case, a swamp is really good for them. Um, they're, they're, they're obviously associated with the elemental churn, particularly like Uncle Blaze. But they, when the, when summoned onto the, like the, uh, onto Tyne, they are often used as kind of just like, well, we'll summon a bunch of them and they'll go fuck shit up. And they kind of just have fun doing it. And how long ago were these summoned? Uh, it sounds like they, they they probably were dormant here, and then someone stumbling upon this place like just re like literally rekindled them. You coming in attracted them, but whatever they they had done before, they probably went into a bit of a state of torpor here after being you know initially set loose. Well, put another way, what was the initial like? What I'm specifically asking for is initially, how long ago did this? seem to have happened the couple days couple days yeah uh fairly you... recently fairly recently okay i will turn the rest of my companions and then i'll actually speak <laughs> <laughs> whoever summoned these filth fires they did so but a mere few Two days ago, a mere few grains of sand in the hourglass, which means that we will more than likely find their trail and more likely our target. Hmm. Good. Less time out here, the better. Exactly. Now, I would recommend one of you dashing debonairs with an exceedingly good insight into the natural world, find their tracks and follow them because they've only been gone a few days. It shouldn't be too hard. Looks how, do we, how do you track? Because otherwise we're all going to point to Pepin. <laughs> uh, um, Pepin, Pepin gets to work. Um, uh, in the off. meantime, can everyone give me a perception check, please? Yes. Are we, yes. Are we going back to the exploration or are we... Not yet, no. Not yet. No cheat. No cheat. 21. Oh, nat 20. 35. Uh, 25. 20. Oh, Bray Barrow got a 17. Well, okay. So as you, all of you are looking around, um, dude, you you notice a few things. You're 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 sort of taking in this place, and you you recognize that. Okay, so there like there was the gold that was on the back of this cart, and like from where it was and what you saw of it, it was fairly strange because like. The, the locks had been broken off of it. Like, they left the gold here. Um, there are other boxes that appear to have been, like, ripped off or taken or, or other supplies that seem to have been taken. But there's still a lot of other supplies here. You can find, like, some vials, some potions, some trade goods of varying, you know, like, still some, still some good, like, you know, textiles and food preservatives, things that would generally have extreme value in a place like this that have just been scattered around here. Um, whatever the attack was on this did not seem interested in, in any of that content. Um, briefly, as you were looking around, you have a moment, though, dude, where, like, you seem to see a tree, and then you seem to see a blue-skinned woman, and then you kind of shake your head, and they're, they're gone. Oh, who? Is it? No, no, it couldn't be. What did you see? I, I I thought I saw a lady with blue skin and looked like a giant tree. Looked like a, it's not not important. Not important. a giant tree. I run up to you. What did they look like? 
I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't really get a good look at him. I, uh, he looked like, uh, not quite like the streets. Not from around here, by any means. Uh, did you look anything like this? And I'm going to reach into my pack and pull out Rahua's Wanted poster. Yes, it looked like that. Yeah, it it, it did. It looked it looked exactly like Rahua. Wait, 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 wait. You said blue woman, right? Yeah. I didn't know they made women in blue. <laughs> yeah, they do. Actually, reminds me. Actually, the, that tree. I remember seeing that tree. You and the and the cute the blue tree. Girl, but beside that point. The Too far away them, from your mic, Arendel. Sorry. The two of them were actually in that group that hired me to hire you guys to go check this place out. Oh, are they nice? Uh, one of them's an old friend of mine. The rest I barely know, but the girl was cute, so, you know, fuck <laughs> it, whatever. <laughs> but beside the point... <laughs> What are you fucking laughing about? Oh, well, I suppose I won't betray you like I was intending to after all. <clears throat> Let's continue on our way, friends. I'm delighted to know that we're in the same company as my darling son. What? Hi. You're a father? I, if you prefer the term gardener, I gave our tree friend life. You're you, responsible for that? You, you made him. You he created Rahua. I created. That's not quite the right term. I gave him corporeal form. And I should very much like to see him again. So, we will complete this task. And Dude will jump up then, and grab the King of Moth by his robes and pull him down to him, his chest. Yes. You need... To teach me what you know, you need to send me back. You need to fucking help me. Oh, calm down, Master Dwarf. Send you back to where? Oh, not where. It's it's when, friend. I'm not okay. supposed. You and I, you, you we are talking privately, pri elsewhere, elsewhere. You are in need of my services, and. I shall grant them. Or what else can unify such ne'er-dwells and bastards than common cause? Will you agree to travel with me, Master Dwarf, after these adventures? Of course, if you will guarantee your help in my predicament. You have my solemn word as king of the moths. Eh, yeah. yeah. Right, that's all, all well and good then, yeah? Absolutely. I'm so glad that beautiful friendships can spring even out of this embered husks. I don't suppose Are the rest of you have str done. strange, spectacular prob problems I can solve? No, the only problem that we need to solve is we need to get moving. I don't want to sit in a burnt out clearing. Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh. one need to acquire the taste for disruption and decay, I think. Just ask our skeletonized friends. Speaking of which, Sabre! Yes, uh, how can I help you? Cantering about. I believe that we must find the trail of these would-be arsonists. Can you engage in such an endeavor? Bray will look at the bounty uh, thing and go like, Oh! Have they been spotted? No, but we know that they left here no less than, I would say, a few days, perhaps three, four. I would very much like to collect the bounty. It would really help out with the economic issues that me and Pepin face every day. But Pepin, have you found anything? Uh. He's pointing at the ground. Good job, Pepin. Continue sniffing. Hey, hey wait a second. Wait a second. You got any more of those posters? Ah, uh, well, I have one of each. She kind of beckons for him to show them off. Let me see he, real quick. 
It will reveal the bounties for the previous party to this group, which is maybe an excellent idea. Ha! Huh. Hey, so you remember I said that group was made up of an old friend and like four other people? I do recall such a thing. Yeah, this is literally all of them. Oh, will we turn them in for the big bounty? <sighs> ah, shit. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that when we get to it. We'll see how things are shaping out on our and let's not come up with any plans just yet. Let's not jump the gun. I agree with you, Victrix. We may have much use for them, or at least I will. And if you care to benefit from my benefit, Victrix, you are free to it. I know we met on the wrong foot. Oh, Can no, we no. start over? And I'll Pippin, extend my hand. we're fucking role-playing! <laughs> Get back here, Pippin! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, Pepper, uh, you're pointing at the humanoid tracks. We're fucking role <laughs> uh, You say it! Pepin, making all of those small humanoid tracks, Pepin. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of tracks. It seems as if they brought a horse. But by God, it seems <laughs> scarce. Perhaps even skeletal. Vic, Vic is Pepin distracted by for the attacks. Vic Vic is distracted so <laughs> thoroughly by Pepin groaning loudly that she doesn't notice the King of Moths extending his hand and instead rushes off towards the mute weirdo. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you grumbling about? Pepin says that he's found a humanoid tracks. It's not from us. Further mm. on. He, well, he fucking points, follow them. He points down to to like a, a pair of tracks and points them out and kind of grunts and walks on. They're, they're they're small humanoid tracks, like they're they're the size of like a child, um, and they're pretty worn in here. But like scattered off and on, he sort of like brings you up through the ditch that's in the ground, uh, kind of clambers over it into a clearing, um, and sort of points here. Um, where the, the tracks meander a bit as well. And you get the sense that like, based on timing maybe, the, the small tracks were away from the caravan when whatever attack had happened. And like this little like secluded area, like like Pepin sort of like moans, but explains like, you know, Bleh, and makes some gestures of like defecating in the woods here away from everything. How do you how do you gesture that? A skeleton? Very carefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not uh, whatever. Vic, Vic is on, ah. on the hunt. She's ready to get going. I see, Pepin. Someone took a shit here. Excellent findings. Pepin the nods. Chance for her to Pepin solidify nods anything vigorously the King of and then fucking... comes back down, pointing to the tracks, um, and then points that they seem to go away, uh, actually back in the direction you came, like towards roughly, like maybe a bit north of the trading post. She's gonna fucking throw her hands up in irritation. That's not helpful. We, uh, 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 we know where uh, we're going. And then, then like, Pepin points down and shows several other humanoid tracks that seem to be going west from here, deeper into the swamp. And we'll follow the ones going west. Very good findings, Pepin. A treat. Uh, he throws, like, a bone. Fuck. Are you kidding me? A fucking Jesus cannibalism. Christ. Yeah. The fucking chance for Vic and the King of Moths to make up has been thoroughly ruined by Pepin leading everyone around confusedly. Yeah, I, okay, I love this, that this Pepin's is giving sign. you important fucking lore, and you're like, "Fuck you!" He's like, Bleh. "She's hey. angry." What do you What do you expect? She got blown <laughs> up. I, I'm pretty right. sure this is Thurston's way of us to hurry along for time, so let's... I'm trying! <laughs> yeah, let's, let's continue on. We all, ha Thurston's, we all head west. Thurston's making it harder. We will all head west. Heading Which way? West. Westward. West. Which way, western man? Okay. West. Okay. West. <laughs> <laughs> Space maze. Space maze. All Space. Right. Space. We carry on. I do assume Ooh, that we're going to patch weeks, ourselves up as we go. Pass. Yeah, I'm about to say Ooh, we've been weeks. fucking going. <laughs> Have we weeks. killed each other yet, Thurston? Um, not yet. 
<laughs> Sir Bray um, is as jovial as ever. Yeah. Just trying to keep spirits high. He's singing songs. Um, Pepin is, um, P Pepin's there. Uh, the rest of you sort of tra travel along as well. You know, Pepin being the main character of this party now. Um, no, oh, yeah. Yeah, Lovely that's little right. lad. Lovely, lovely boy. Um, no, you, you carry on. During this, I assume uh, the dude and the king of moths conspire off to the side. Um, you, you continue to discuss some of the mysteries of, of the swamp. You have you have all sorts of fun and wacky adventures over the course of two weeks that who knows? They could be the they could be like a special unto themselves. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. But you carry on. You carry on. And eventually you find yourselves doing what you've been doing a lot of for the last few weeks. Bickering. <laughs> Bickering and <laughs> camping. Pepin, of course, being the only one trained in survival, so he is setting you up with your necessary camp. And you um, know what? I came prepared. I bought us a four person tent. Oh, yeah. hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Oh, oh wait, mother. Oh, oh, oh shit. The bard has a spell. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the bard has a spell that we are all in this chat very familiar with by now. <laughs> the cozy cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, our, our show flesh. has probably increased cozy cabin stocks by, like, so much for spell <laughs> cabin. Cozy cabin sweep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cabin I, I, I hands, like boys. Cabin <laughs> hands. <laughs> so Kata's cozy cabin is definitely, like... It looks mostly like a normal cozy cabin, but there's just something really uncanny valley about it. Like, just some of the materials look like wood, but when you touch them, it's definitely not. There are like eyes under weird things. So question, how long did do all of you like last actually sleeping in the haunted cabin of horrors? Uh, Vic is okay with it, 1000%. She just gets cozy. The King of Moths fucking loves the creepy flesh cabin. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking loves it. Please allow Sir, me to feed on delicious house flesh. Sir Bray <laughs> gets inside the flesh cabin housing and gets nostalgic. Do you I remember being flesh, inside a meat before. <laughs> I remember my flesh prison. Ah. It's fucked up. It's delightful okay. to sleep at somewhere where you can actually eat the drywall. It's more of wet wall, isn't it? Oh, yes, oh. but it becomes dry once it's grilled. Mm. All right. So after a while, you've, you've two, two weeks time, you've, you've ventured through the swamps. You've you've made your way deep. You've, you've you've done a lot of exploration following following the tracks and trudging along after Pepin, having your side adventures and then you eventually come um it's not quite quite like you know time for sleeping in the cabin so you've set up a fire outside on a set of wooden walkways like planks and whatnot that extend through the um through the solitude of particularly like bad swampy area um all of you are resting around a fire that pepin has set up on the walkway you know protected using stones and whatnot to make sure they don't the ground doesn't catch on fire. Um, Good job, Pepin. Like, Pepin. It, it's it's dark and like you hear animals hooting, and the sky itself has you know almost almost no light coming through as it's very cloudy, and you, you sort of have this just cozy, but also like a single point of light as you as you dwell uh, in this area, uh, and you're all trading stories and chatting with one another. You know, this all reminds me of that time I, I actually stopped by that strange restaurant. It was built into a crashed airship and outside. Has anyone else eaten there? I've definitely gone to that establishment. It's one of my favorites. I especially like the other one on the other side. Uh, uh, yes. You fucking eat. Uh, I, I like got to be nostalgic sometimes, one. asshole. <laughs> How can you... How can I be the asshole? You don't even have one. Hey, what hey, who are we to judge? Bray cries. <laughs> Takata, you said you were kicked out of the restaurant? That's just 
Yes, Dreadful. my performance was beautiful. It was, however, um, what was the phrase? Disturbing to children. Oh, I yes, I get that a lot myself. Mm. It's discrimination of the highest order. That's terrible. Everyone give me perception checks. The <laughs> <laughs> Bray perceives with a three on the die for a total of 14. Cool. Total of 31. 26. 24. 24. 24, 24. Okay. Ah. Dude, as, as everyone's sort of talking and jibing around, you you hear sounds from around you, like crack crackles of 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 like logs and like splintered wood and small pressure on like on, on wooden boards around you and sloshing. It's it's like it's crept up on you, but there are several figures making their way towards you. Ah, it is we well. might have some company. Well, let's not keep them waiting. Oh, Bray we will, don't have uh, room in the cabin. Bray will hop off. Uh, they you put him on his horse, but he'll he'll look at Pepin like Pepin collapse, and, and as, he'll, as, in, the cool, horse yeah. will collapse, <laughs> cool. and Pepin will put all the bones of the horse on his pack, and. Uh, May you carry make him horse. hold your horse. Yep, he's just carrying all the horses. bones of the horse at his pack. Hold your horses. Um, you could you could drag my token over. Hide this one. Out. Yeah. Boom. Okay. No, don't leave the fuck. I don't. Leave. I, well, fine. Here. No, no, no. There. <laughs> there you go. I'll hide the horse. Boom. Yeah, you hide these, and then you. There Move you him go. There. You hide that and the other Bray Marrow one. The other token on. <laughs> I see. There you go. There you go. Okay. okay. I'll set it up for you because mounted combat and foundry is just bullshit. Yeah. Oh, am I am I still fatigued two weeks later? Yes. Oh. <laughs> He's so tired. <laughs> oh god. No rest for the wicked. He's fixed here. Fine. Um, and, and dude, as you point this out, and after the like the skeletal horse disassembly, you start looking out and you see probably three, four, maybe even five dozen points of light out there. Would appear to be torches, maybe. Uh, and you're hearing sloshing getting closer. Um, some of you have dark vision, right? I have yeah. actually something even better than dark vision. What's that? I have. I could get it on the character sheet. I have motion sense and low light vision. vision. Mm, okay, okay. I have low light vision, which seems weird as an undead, but yeah. yeah. You know. Okay, so you have motion sense. How far does that go out for you? Thirty feet. Okay. okay. So yeah, nothing, nothing quite in range yet. Okay. I oh, there's an eye of dark vision. vision. Yeah. Oh, and hell that's, yeah. Out to <clears throat> 60, right? For you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, Takata, you start to see figures at the far edge of your vision. Um, there appear to be some humanoid figures that are coming into view. Um, several of them seem to be equipped similarly. Um, they're, they're, they're like wielding uh, hand crossbows and swords and other ones appear to, you know, be masked and in heavy, heavy robes, uh, clutching onto staves, their hands crackling with flames like, like lamplight. But they all seem to stop at about 60 feet. Uh, and I, like, I want to give like an impression for you. Like, there are a lot of people out here. Hmm. Uh, pretty much, but does know. dude see this as well? Don't you have dark vision? I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you would see it too, dude. Yeah. Hmm. Do you suppose they look friendly? I uh, can't say for sure. This deep in the salt, too, it's pretty deep, pretty uh, hard to determine whether or not they are looking to make conversation or make off the bones. Uh, no offense to you, Sir Bray. Fucked up. Not his bones. One well, of gonna, like, all his bones. snarl audibly under her fucking At, mag mask. As this happens, a figure emerges from the group, sort of like 
walking, walking somewhat confidently in front of the group, waving a hand back at all of the others who, who stay at the peripheral edge. Um, he's holding on to a torch, um, which he, or actually more a lantern. He com comes holding a lantern in one hand, ha has like a sword, but it's not like in a combat stance. It's sort of like held down. And this figure comes into the, the outer limits of, of the light here, like the low light viewers here catch it from, from the light from your, um, from your campfire. And this haughty elven figure looks at all of you. Well, hello there. Ah! <laughs> I pull out my Glock. <laughs> Ollie, long shot. <laughs> uh, seems you have uh, made it very far in here. Sir Bray will stand up, chilled and mace at the ready, and he'll be like, <laughs> like like, who is one to come forth near to our campfire? Are you friend or foe? And he'll point a mace at him and get all ready. He bows. My name is Prince Duchel, if it is a pleasure. It is a pleasure to meet you, uh, Prince Duchel. I am Sir Bray Marrow, escaper of flesh, savior of orphanages, pursuer of freedom, slayer of obstacles, acquirer of sturdy exteriors, <laughs> and acquirer of titles. You would stand before me and my compatriots, and I see you brought yourself friends. I must say once more, friend or foe? Oh, I'm very much a friend. Oh shit, yeah, dude, I, come I on. Am... <laughs> I have, I have, sits no, down, I have no, no, no desire for conflict. In fact, in fact, um, if it would do well for all of you, I would like to pay you. Oh, is it normal to walk up to fires and just throw money at people? Well, I'm guessing that you are here and the employ of some other people, so I'm just going to pay you more and ask if you can go home. Hmm. An Let's interesting see. offer, but you must beware we were paid 2,000 gold apiece. Uh, that's fine. I have a crate of about uh, 5,000 gold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That sounds fine to me. Most intriguing. What yes, exactly I would you like from us? I want you to go, go away. Hmm. Well, I ask why? kind of, kind of, sort of. I mean, kind of, sort of. Well, I want everyone but you to go away. Any points at Vic? Me? Yeah, I want you to come back with us. I want to ask you some questions on our own. Show us the gold before we make any further negotiations. Oh, sure, yeah. of course. Some I'm of there. that better be going to me. And um, two, two, two individuals come in. They're they're sort of like heavier set folk. They put down a, like a, a just an overflowing chest of gold and like jewels, lots of gemstones. Bray will look at the king of moths and put a gauntlet hand on his shoulder, try to whisper, saying, "Make sure that it's not that of a illusion, my friend." Oh, but of course, no one agree to anything. I will, of course, have to inspect it. Of course. I will uh, approach the gold. Does it seem to be legit? Uh, you detect magic. There is no illusory magic. If you would like to give me something like an arcana check to see if there's any duplicity here. Absolutely. I would love to do just such a thing. 25. You are not seeing any trace of illusory magic on this. Mm. This is this is the real coin. I see. And who do you represent, Mr. Duchel? Uh, you see, I am a uh, concerned, solitude, uh, outset citizen who, well, uh, the people you're working for, you know they are wanted, right? I'm just... Uh, they, they did some bad things to some people I care about. You know one of them, the one with the blue skin? She betrayed me. <laughs> Ooh. Why, that <laughs> sounds... I'm gonna get him. <laughs> oh, that sounds to be aligned on that... on that bountiful bounties. Criminals, I think they are. Yes. 
That's uh, right. And so I don't want you to get messed up with them, but I know your time is important. You've been in the swamp going around for a while, so... Listen, we're just doing this job so we can get paid from them, and then we'll probably turn them in at some point anyway. I, I, I want to save you the trouble, because I'm probably going to, to have to deal with them myself, you know. Me and my, my, my associates sort of, like, waves behind towards all the, the, like, distant but still very close. You must be a very powerful and brave warrior. <sighs> yes, I am. <laughs> I don't believe this well-dressed beanpole. Thurston, how do I detect his deception? Perception. <laughs> Absolutely. Give me a well, here, while you're you. doing that, Vic's okay. going oh, to no. like... Okay, well... He's, he's, you know what? He's pretty charming. He's also brought a lot of money that you've just been told is real. You know, <laughs> that that's a very good point. <laughs> However. However. Hero point. Okay, sure. more it was one point and less. I worse. really believe him yes. this time. <laughs> no! You're just like, wow, <laughs> shit. <laughs> all right. Yeah, he does all make right. a really good point there. All right. Listen, this is all well and good. You're asking me to come with you, though. Yes. Where's my cut of it, then? But you won't. Part of the money. If I'm being yeah. asked to come with you, what the hell's the deal? Why me? Well, I mean, certainly we could provide you with more money at our camp. It's not like I would come out here and give you all our money. That would be stupid. We have more at the camp. This was just to get your companions to go home. Aha. Uh -huh. You still haven't answered why I'm needed. Uh, because we know you are an associate of the, uh, the Buckethead. Oh, let me guess. Baldrick's done something to piss you guys off. He's a bit of an asshole, that one. Aren't we all? Yeah, that's right, but I say if, you know, I don't have to deal with assholes and I get paid 5,000 gold to do whatever. Eh? Mm. True enough, true enough. But what if I also had business with this array of miscreants? Well... Then I would say that once they are in custody by the civil servants of Outset, you'll be fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're with the city people? Uh, we are a concerned citizens group. <laughs> yeah, but you said that you were from the concerned citizens of Solitude, not Outset. And Outset. I said both, you know. No, you, no, you didn't. No, he did. You he said. did. I'm right he did. He did. Dude has gaslit himself. Yeah. <laughs> a, common, a common occurrence. <laughs> no, 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 I don't no, remember no. that, but time flows weirdly. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I go with shit as far as it falls between highwaymen and all that. I do not answer to that authority. You said you had more gold at your camp. I do. How much? A lot? Well, give me a number. Like, more than this, a lot more than this. I, I, a man as refined as me does not uh, need uh, to count his gold. You see. I don't think he's the accountant. Yes, fair enough, fair enough. I'll look to everyone else. So we all agree on what must be done here, yes? Let's take the money and go home. I can continue on my bird hunt and then happily enjoy my life somewhere else instead of this swamp. Yes, yes, but could we have a quick moment alone to discuss amongst ourselves? Of course, I will just go back to my men and let them know. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Uh, King of Mars will return, so we're of course killing them all. I, mean, why I want you to understand <laughs> there are several dozen of them. Well, I don't think we can take them all on at once, but we were paid 2000 to come out here. If we take their money now, circle around for a little bit, keep an eye on them, and pop back in when the moment's right, we might be able to sweep in and pick up that 5000 plus whatever else they're carrying and not have on them. We can even leave them back to the camp. We can take everything they have. We can kill them all. I do enjoy having more money. I care about that tree more than any corn in it. 
the hell? I was just gonna get my shit. King over here. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm with him. I've, I've got business. Yeah, and, and you're going to nothing. spring me, right? Because I have to go with them. I have an idea for that. Um, I can turn one of us invisible in order to accompany you, to keep an eye on you. I believe I would volunteer Sir Dude. He is very, uh, stealthy, like, um, what, what is that old story? The Solid Snake? Ah, yes, that ancient tale from the old tribes. Yes. Uh, the adamantine serpent. Even my clan knew about that. Yes. <laughs> We're fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think for the ease of figuring out who's going to do what, we could probably decide later who will go invisible just because, like, at the moment, it's kind of like we're, we're nearing time here, unfortunately. But That and how long the spell lasts. It lasts an hour. Okay. I so, it sounds to me like the plan might be to, uh, to, to have Vic go off with Prance and the boys. Well, you take all of the money and then still stay around, maybe, in this uh, this solitude region. Could keep a little eye on things. Keep a little eye on things. Ray just wants the money. <laughs> yes. The Ray, king Ray's going to leave. The King of Moths has business with the party. I think that he... If we don't think that we could fight them all here, um then it may be to his benefit to linger about with those that would follow him to ascertain the end of his schemes. It doesn't behoove him to have Rahua up in shackles. His tree, son. All right, fine. I'll go with them for now. You assholes better be there, though. I assure you, Vitrix, I and those who follow me will never be too far behind. Hey. Fine. So, Victrix, you follow the elf, leaving your companions. And as you, you head out, your companions stay a bit behind, preparing, it sounds to me, uh, preparing to, to follow or at least be ready to, to look around, um, you know, g given some time after Prance and his, his coterie depart. Is that is that the, the plan right now? Yes, I think we will remain uh, because, you know. Yeah, and whenever we want to send somebody out, I will uh, cast invisibility on the dude. I honestly think having a second bard would be very funny. <laughs> and um, as you, as as you, you the, the this group begins to prepare, th uh, maybe maybe thirty minutes after Pross has departed, there is a there is a sound and a thump that all of you feel and hear. And dude is the first, but very quickly the rest of you look. And what comes out towards you from the swamps is an amalgamate of elemental and of elemental fury, rocks and wind and fire all churning together, roiling towards you in one great mass. It seems to descend towards you, and the battle that follows would be the stuff of legends. That's where we're gonna die! Dun, dun, dun! The big it's boy. a thing from super early in the rock grind camp. <laughs> it's, it's the super thing! Bad. It's, it's the, the big thing. boy! But yeah, Thanks, everybody. Wait. Yeah, we got through the thing. Hope Yay! everybody enjoyed their time. Yay! And we did it with only minimal PvP. Yeah, Yay! yeah. We didn't completely minimal. murder each other. Just a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> not really. Just a tinge. Yeah, just uh just to clarify the chat, no, it's not a new campaign. They're backup characters. No. This was the plan yeah. from the beginning. It's just a neat little break. Yeah, just Yay. uh 
Uh, the idea was like, oh, hey, we, we established there were mercenaries going off to go to another angle, and, and the, these are the guys. Mm -hmm. so, so, just a neat little side thing, break for the characters. Try some other classes, because it's always fun to do stuff. But, first off, thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you, Oda Roshi. Thank you, Hulky Crow. Thank you, Arendelle, Speaker D, and uh, Thurston for coming over to play. I've been your host. And uh, if you really like what we do, uh, narrativedeclaration.com, get our, our, our stream schedule, get understand all the stuff that we do, get some free PDFs. We got free PDFs about the world of rock grind, the world of time, stuff like that. Come over and come play in our world if you like to. And if you like to support the show, really help out. You can either subscribe on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash narrative declaration, or you can go on patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration to really help us out. We put up a bunch of content. We have a bunch of PDFs out right now. Thurston made like this like asshole of a monster like <laughs> recently, which is yes. really, really fun uh, to put in your outset campaign if you want to do it. And uh, we have a tons <laughs> of shows. We, we have tons of content for you, like a lot of content. There are times I was going through, I'm like, God, we got a lot of content. Um, at youtube.com uh, forward slash narrative declaration or at narrative declaration on Twitter. Everything else is narrative declaration everywhere. You can find Rock Grind, Rock Goons, and Abomination Vaults and a whole bunch of other stuff along with exciting things in the future. But yeah, Space. please follow everybody. Please follow everybody yeah. here. All information like on YouTube and stuff is in the description and on podcast forms. Remember, we're also on podcasts. You can find us on like Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that stuff. And you can get our links and all that either on our website or in the video descriptions. Love you all so very much. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you all next time. Like, say yay a bunch as I delay and get yay. our outro music because it didn't load. Yay! 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 I'm yeah, almost yeah, at the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm almost house, there. Like, okay, the intro music's yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all like, so much for coming. Yeah, See you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah.